we got a show for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Have we got a show for you? If you like to talk to tomatoes, if a squash can make you smile, if you like to waltz with potatoes, up and down the produce aisle. If it's beef, I'm squashing like veggie toast, keep the hammer like I'm beefing with nails. Hollow tips, hollow tips, yes I am frail, cut that bitch off cause she kiss and tail. Can't trust these niggas, you know they gon' well. She lit on IG, but dry like a whale. My bitch got good brain, could've went to Yale. No, then I, I, not shit reading braille. If it's beef, I'm squashing like veggies, just keep the hammer like I'm beefing with nails. Hollow tips, hollow chest, yes, I am frail. Cut that bitch off cause she kiss and tail. Can't trust these niggas, you know they gon' well. She lit on IG, but dry like a whale. My bitch got good brain, could've went to Yale. No, then I, I, not shit reading braille. Yeah, Brickies on toast when I pull up a hoes. That's not your hoes, she show off for the dough. Sell out that show, then I spend it on clothes. Sell out that show, then I sell it for me. Yeah, throwing a sis, I just give and I go. She bite on my dick like an egg roll. She slide on my dick like a pole. He just got in, he got out. Damn, he told. My bitch so black, call me Stanley. I'm fucking your bitch, I ain't planning. I got the tools like I'm Manny. We blew up, damn, my nigga ain't planning. We blew up, damn, I'm out of this planet. She on her knees, but she say she can't stand me. Nothing her hair is looking like some damn. She suck on me. Just like some candy. If it's beef, I'm squashing like veggie toast. Keep the hammer like I'm beefing with nails. Hollow tips, hollow shots. Yes, I am frail. Cut that bitch off cause she kissing tail. Can't trust these niggas, you know they gon' wail. She lit on IG, but dry like a whale. My bitch got good brain, could've went to Yale. Not in her eye, now she reading braille. If it's beef, I'm squashing like veggie toast. Keep the hammer like I'm beefing with nails. Hollow tips, hollow shots. Yes, I am frail. Cut that bitch off cause she kissing tail. Can't trust these niggas, you know they gon' wail. She lit on IG, but dry like a whale. My bitch got good brain, could've went to Yale. Not in her eye, now she reading braille. y'all chat i just woke up like 30 minutes ago i just woke up i just woke up bro i don't know why i want to sleep so late you said i thought retro was gonna wait nah i'm not waiting i don't give a fuck no more months i'm not waiting i'm not waiting for these bitches i'm not waiting for these bitches if y'all don't want to get spoiled get the fuck out Get out! Get out! If y'all want to get spoiled, leave! 
Cause I'm playing that shit. I'm not waiting for y'all bitches. I am not waiting. Years, give me my VIP. The good stream retro. Oh my god. Now everybody who comes into stream is just demanding VIP. They be like, hey, I've been here for two years. Where's my VIP? I ordered myself some food as well, man. I'm I'm gonna be a fat ass today. To be honest, this might, might be my only meal I eat today if I don't cook later on. But you said you finishing the Nuzlocke last stream? Bro, I'm going to keep it a stack and a half with you. Wait, didn't you see what I told you? Why I, why I couldn't stream yesterday? I had to go get my car fixed. Literally, the good thing about me getting my car fixed is that it got fixed. And I only had to spend $4 to, for it to get fixed. I'm Gucci, though. My pops, luckily, my dad has um experience with auto repair. So all we had to do was buy the hose, and we replaced the hose, and we clamped that shit down and, like, put everything in. We took the car for a good test run. It The car's working, like, brand new now. I'm like, we're Gucci. We are Gucci. You said buy the hose. Not, not hose as in women. Hose as in... An actual hose. I had to buy a hose so I could because apparently the antifreeze on my car was leaking. And when we took away the the you know like the like the exhaust components, well not the exhaust but like the air intake and shit, I saw the whole pipe. It was bursted open and there was antifreeze all in my fucking car, like at the bottom, like not at the bottom in the floor, but at the bottom near like all the other shit. It was all over the place. You said I sound sick? No, I just woke up. That's why I sound like that. Um, I, I haven't seen anybody's gameplay of this game last night when this shit actually dropped early last night. I think it dropped like right at midnight. I, I thought this shit was going to drop like two or 3 a.m. It dropped actually at midnight. Everybody was streaming this shit last night. I, I steered clear from every streamer. Yo, noisy. What's up, man? You said this game is kind of hitting. We're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to jump straight in, man. No no sugar coats. My food is coming soon. Once my food comes in, I'll eat in the middle of me watching the stream. Who's this? Wait, who's this? You got this fine-ass lady as my Uber driver? What's her name? Mildred? Yo, she kind of bad. She's done 1,155 deliveries, and she got a 100% satisfaction rate? Shit, I'm about to bring that shit down to a 99 Nah, I'm fucking with y'all. <laughs> Imagine, that'd be fucked up. <coughs> that'd be fucked up. Jesus Christ. The intro was kind of lackluster. What, for this game? To be honest, I, I don't care. I just want to I just wanna see what this game is about. Am I looking at the Big Bang? Is this when the world was created? Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is some... So this is some biblical shit that's happening now. Anybody who's following and anybody who's subscribing, thank you again, uh, uh, Z Monado for the five gifted subs, you sexy motherfucker, man. I, I've been noticing you're doing this shit like every stream now almost. God damn, thank you for your nonstop support, man. I really appreciate it. Um, welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. Um, it is well that thou art here. Oh shit, he's speaking to me like in biblical times. Thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus, or somebody in the chat, Arceus, because apparently he got key in his name. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Oh shit, I could be white or black. I don't want to be the girl, man, because I want to be me. I'm Spanish. What is thy name? My name is Dees. Um, <clears throat> you said be white. <clears throat> Imagine you do that to Arceus. He'll kill you on the spot. Be like, my name is Dees. Thine great one. Dees. Dees. Dees nuts. You, you just Dees spawn. He kills you and then he just works on the next person. Retoro. Soon shall no soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. 
a world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call pocket monsters. <laughs> he said, these nuts? How about these spawn? Oh, shit. I'll be like, no, 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 I was joking. You, you saw that one you, you saw that one scene on the Netflix show The Punisher where the guy was like, no, 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 no. That's going to be me literally in just floating in space when he says, how about you despawn? Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Pokemon copy Konosuba. They kind of did with this. Yo, what up the Lion Ken? How you doing, baby? So you telling me I was spawned into the world of nothingness with an iPhone? That shit ain't no iPhone, bro. That's a HTC phone. What in the what in the world of broke? My man, Nuka Doom. What up, baby? Yeah, we're doing Arceus right now. People people thought that I was probably going to wait till the hype died down before I played it. I'm like, nah, fuck this shit. I'm playing this shit straight off rip. I'm playing this straight off rip. I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting for nobody. I used to do that. I ain't doing that shit no more. When a new game comes out and it's hype and I want to play it, I ain't waiting. If people come in the chat and be like, hey, I don't want to get spoiled. I'll just kill you all sight. Wake up! It's the first of the month. You say you like my earrings. Where? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Noiser. I appreciate it. Or do wait. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Damn, off rip. We got to pick our starters. Are you alive, my boy? Oh, don't tell me that's the professor. He look like a dumbass. Who the fuck is this? Is the, is the music, is the audio good? You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that, but thank goodness you seem unharmed. What? So you're telling me that, that I have no backstory, that I just, that Arceus just made me and I just spawn? Because I know in the other Pokemon games, you kind of move in from a different town. They don't really give you that much context of what happens. You just move in usually with your parents to a new city. But this shit is just, oh, you fell from the sky. What's up, man? This kind of sus. But thank goodness you seem unharmed. Who are... Who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell from the sky. You understand? Come on now. Who in the world does that? He ain't... He ain't lying. I'm making sure my food gets here. Bro, I hope she leaves my food downstairs, bro. I don't want to go... I don't want to go interact. I hate when I got to interact with people, bro. Like, especially Uber drivers, man. Because Uber drivers, sometimes they be like, wait, stand there, take a picture with the food. I have to take a picture of the, of the food. And I'm just like, nah. You must say your clothing is unusual. Um, You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I doubt it. Look how sad I look. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some direction? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know. Bro, I'm a homeless child with no recollection of what the fuck is going on. So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper... No, yo. Actually, Grand Gonzalo in the chat saying expression. True. There's actual character expression in this game. Any other Pokemon game, they'd be like, wait, so did your mom and dad die in a fire? Fucking trainers like. Straight up smiling. No expression. Motherfucker look like he's in disarray. I see, well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crew, foam, splish, splash. 
Oh my god, I completely forgot. I had just caught up to the three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they know you'd appear here. Uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do, you piece of shit. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems that you have some common ground. Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes, and what might your name be? Retoro. Oh, so you're called Retoro. That name has quite a ring to it, and I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Not really. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Labenton. Labenton. I have something... No, I, I am something of a professor. Not the Spider-Man reference. Not... Not the Spider-Man reference in my Pokemon game, bro. I am something of a scientist myself. I am something of a Pokemon professor. He did the reference, bro. I am something of a scientist myself. This mother... This guy did not just do that. Give me one second, chat. Let me actually um, fix my webcam. Perfect. So I'm looking at the game. Yes, Pokemon. Okay, wait. He, they just dip. Oh, blast my brother, my darling Pokemon. I'm terribly sorry. But do you think that you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three. I don't even know who I want to choose, bro. I was thinking about Cyndaquil, but then I'm like, they butchered my character Cyndaquil for such a long time. Like, I feel like Typhlosion looks like shit now. Typhlosion looked like like a bad... Whoa, I'm hearing Pokemon. Hold on. I heard a monkey. Oh, shit. We could be sneaky. Oh, you got a dash with L3? Is this like the first Pokemon game? Sounds like Chimchar. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's a Chimchar. I'm leaving. You know what? I can't wait to see the speed run strats in this game. Some po somebody probably found like a glitch where you could just like be on a rock and then just clip into the wall and then just fuck everything up. Let me see if I can find a glitch straight out, straight, straight off rip. You said Rowlet Gang? Bro, I cannot believe. At least the sky looks nice. Not over there. Look at some bullshits happening over there. Oh, it's an Android. My HTC. My HTC Evo. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. Expression. I bestow upon thee, uh, no, thee this arc phone and thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Am I being controlled by a god phone? I hear a lot of chimchars making a lot of noise. The trees, the quality of the trees don't look too bad. We got flowers. Snack, thank you for the resub. Hold on, where's my hey, food? Chat, hope you all enjoy this game. Can't wait to play this when I get home. Yo, thank you, Snack. I appreciate you, man. Alas, yet another miss. Aha, uh -huh. I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some pocket balls at them. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. He's so sad. I'd love to give, um, to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can 
photosynthesized like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Crew. Now, does the fire stay permanently out with Typhlosion like this? That one is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. Froom. So I take that as a no, because that means that the Typhlosion has to be constantly surprised or irate. <clears throat> I might pick Oshawa, bro. These Pokemon near the pond is Oshawa. Oshawa naps like floating on the water and it can battle using its shell like an object on its belly. I forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Look at this World War II looking ass Pokeball. Here you are my boy. Pocket balls. Um, throw these Pokemon. Um, throw these at Pokemon to catch them. Damn, 50 Pokeballs off rip? That that won't do for an explanation. Now that I mentioned um I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where the Pokeballs come in. Uh, Pokeballs are recent invent okay, our recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokeball or a Pokemon, excuse me. Jesus Christ. I need my fucking food. The Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball comfy as it can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I've never understood that logic on how Pokemon could just shrink down a size. Is it because the Pokeball does it or is it the Pokemon themselves doing it? This bitch downstairs, bro. Give me a second. Oh! 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 Bro, yo, it is cold as hell. It is cold as hell, bro. New York, rumor has it, I think we're going to have a big storm. I think a big storm is coming in New York. Like a blizzard. And I'm not looking forward to it. The Pokeball transformed the Pokemon into pure energy and stores them inside. That's what I was thinking. So it's the Pokeball doing it, not the Pokemon. The Pokemon can't just... Do it. Bro, did they put all my food in here, man? I hate it when they forget my food. Oh, I'm going to be a fat ass today. Yes, the Pokeball. This better be chicken nuggets. This better not be fucking um, onion rings. Disgusting. Disgusting. Discrossing Ninja Nanayo. Okay. <clears throat> I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I have no one else to turn to. Um I'd be uh I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon and let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far uh be it for me to say, I suppose given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Damn, and you call yourself a professor? Give me a fucking coat. Give me a fucking coat, bro. Pokemon can be caught throwing a Pokeball. Hold down ZR to ready the Pokeball. Take aim. Um, Using the right stick, adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target. ZR. Release ZR. Okay. Press B to cancel the throw. Okay. You said onion rings bussin'? I, I don't know, bro. I, I can't vibe with onion rings. I feel like onion rings make my breath smell like straight anal grease. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Where these Pokemon at? You little shit. Wait. Oh shit, the firecracker popped in my face. No oh, wonderful, you caught a Pokemon. It seems you quite got the knack for this. Bro, I just started. Okay. You said don't catch that motherfucker, I had to. Yo, look at the Cyndaquil. Yo, he tried to hit me. I can hardly believe it, Retro Incredible. Yo, this Professor Doodoo. He couldn't even catch Pokemon, bro. Bro, not even your coat. Give me a hat. Give me a freaking hat. That looked like a critical catch. Oh, he got out. I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, my boy. Step on the Pokeball. You gotta step on it and make sure they don't get out. Oh, I thought he was gonna fist bump me. The three Pokemon that you just caught have only just arrived at the village. They won't listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they both are from the village almost as if they knew um, that you come falling. But I must say, I was taken aback by how well you use the Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably uh, when you've only just arrived here? One can't help but think that there's a reason you appeared here and now. Seek out all the Pokemon. That object is an Arc Phone, you say. What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? The fact that we even have a phone in this generation because it looks like we're like, there's no technology whatsoever here. He should have been stunned. Like, wait, what the hell is that? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile the region's first completed record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And there, um, and therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. The rub. Pokeballs have only just been invented. And not many of them mastered the skills of using them. Mm. Bro, it's in Isekai. You brought your phone with you. Damn. Enter you a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. The goal is to seek out every Pokemon and minus to have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Bitch, what do I get out of this? Come on now, what do you say? Shall we help one another, my boy? I got no other choice. Then whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've got a Pokedex to complete. We'll sort out your lodging and find you some proper clothes. Please. Follow me then. To Jubilife City. Jubilife Village. Jesus Christ. I got cargo shorts and shit. What the hell is that? I don't like that. That does not look nice. I don't want to go over there at all. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe. The guardsman? Is this gonna be like the meme guy from like Fire Emblem? The the freaking soldier at the gate? This young man was one of the great assistants to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing him into the village for a bit. The gatekeeper.
All right. This is a nice little village. Where the mom's at? There's one right there. Where the mom's at? This road we're on is known as the Locals of Kanala. Where'd you come from? Bitch, look at my drip. I got cargo shorts on. Look what you got on. You got robes on. And since we know little of the local people, people hesitate. Does the professor know that child? Yo, how about you mind your own business? We're not supposed to talk to strangers, you know. Bitch, mind your own business! Okay. Oh, botheration. I almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait here at the canteen? So it's that. That's the canteen. Okay. With a little yellow banner. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where you need to go next. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. Hold on. Oh, shit. What's here? The farm? Pastures? Mm. Show. This region is huge and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon too. But you came here anyway. How come? Because I had no other choice. Who are these bald ass little anime kids? Back in my hometown, I got an older brother who's going to inherit the family farm and all. But I'm going to make my own way here in Hisui. All right. I like the I like the dedication. You said Connie? He deadass does look, um, look like Connie. He, he about to be a villain. He about to be a villain, bro. Yo. Be Bellamani, whatever the fuck your name is, Bellamy. I'm pretty new to the village myself, bro. Nah, he an evil person. He's new to the village too. He giving me Kabuto vibes, a hundred percent. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I can learn something new. Nah, bro, you're trying to learn everybody so you could kill them. Well, now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Look at my face. The Wallflower for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Damn. <gasps> Who's the baddie? Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you. What if you were attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be mincemeat in those flimsy clothes. If the guard lets you through, you must have some ties with somebody in the village. Perhaps you met Professor Leventon. He's a scholar from a faraway pray, um, place. His Pokemon do not... Or his Pokemon do get away from him at times, though. It makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with my Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago, and I had to take... What? I had to take to my bed? But the professor, well, I wonder how long he'll last. She almost died. She got hit with thunder. Unfortunately, it's just as Akira says, I'm clumsy. 
I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Damn, you were roasting the professor. Facial expressions pog, man. Look at her face. But everything will be quiet all along. I mean, all right now. Oh my god. Retro, here, has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. She looks mad. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Look at her face. Damn, Captain, I don't even know if I'm saying his name right. Celine? Assuming the individuals can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. Hold on, give me one sec. My sister's asking me if she should get the physical copy of this game or the digital copy. I'm telling my sister right now, I copped the digital version. But if you want physical... Cause it's cold as hell right now and my sister's like she wants to get the game but i think she wants it physically but then i'm like yo if you want to get it physically you're gonna have to walk through this cold ass weather to get it mm. in waiting for that one mf to mod out the pokemon and put in titans imagine getting chased by armored and getting yeeted you said titans now nah, this game will crash Assuming the individuals can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Celine. She looks like a bad guy. Professor Leviton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control, and now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Chat, y'all can't, can't be googly-eyed over him, all right? They confirmed ages. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who's wandering in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Facts! Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversations then. Benny, old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Potato mochi. Professor Levinson, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? She about to ask a million questions about me, dude. You know, of the great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift, our new friend fell out of it. You can't be serious. Come on now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with the facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. That there are in grass and forest, by water, or whatever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. From what I saw in the trailers, they do. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's why Retro will come in. We're going to have a 15-year-old child go outside in the wondrous world of Pokemon 
and try to capture all these big ass psychopathic monsters. Obviously, I'm not gonna do it because I'm a fucking lazy ass professor with a goddamn weird cap on my head. I'm gonna let the fucking 15 year old do all the work. But that's where Pokemon, I mean Retro will come in. He has successfully caught three Pokemon and that automatically puts him, right, like, okay, I caught three tiny Pokemon and now that automatically makes me, um, right? Like, that gives me the credentials to, like, apparently go off by myself and apparently get destroyed by a Snorlax or some shit. Three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of feat of a feat such as that. This means that we can finally begin our Pokemon research in the earnest. Three? We have a hard enough time catching one. God damn, you guys must be trash. To be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled um, to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do that. Do the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Alright, um, Benny, I'm about to fuck you up. Benny, you're getting on my nerves. Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi, you know? The slow progress of that Pokedex of yours is clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rain the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now, have you... No, have your fill retro and think... If you make it into the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, even if said member fell out of the sky. Okay. Food was lovely. More importantly, do you remember that Retro has a trial? Mmm. Oh, we got a trial. Let's go. Mm. Those two be talking about Pokemons like they note, where they just discovered Pokemons recently with no memories before that, like how the others discovered Titans. Kind of true. Kind of true. Retro, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. Oh, I get my own little house, but if you fail to pass the trial, we put... Wait, that we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your death in the wilds? This bitch is wildin'. She said, we're going to toss you to the freaking, I don't know, bro, Electrikes. <laughs> Captain Silene somewhat likes Hisui. No, okay, Captain Silene somewhat like Hisui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time that we turn in for the night. Oh my god, we can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. I imagine that our friend has enough falling for today. And with that, I bid you both a good night. She said, yo, I'm gonna toss you into the forest. You're gonna get killed. Like, you're gonna die. A rift in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. That shit looking a little colorful. That shit looking a little bit like Xerneas. Some Xerneas shit. The colors. Wow, give me a sec, chat. Mm. Mm. You said I'm about to get snatched by a wild hypno. I'm going to end up in a doujinshi, bro. They're going to be like, whatever happened to Retro? Because he failed the test. We, we exiled him. I don't know what happened to him. I'm stuck in a fucking doujin. I'm in a room full of hypnos. I ain't, I ain't gonna say anything else. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm in a room full of hypnos.
Sleep in my futon? Yo, can I make food? Okay, chat, the canon law now is while playing black slash white, a portal opened and got sent to this and that's how he got a cool phone. You said tap up? Oh, is that the save station? To save your progress, press up on the open menu, then scroll with ZL, ZR buttons until you reach save screen. Hmm. That was the fastest save ever. <gasps> My drip! Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. So, um, superiors are owed your respect. Like and dislikes are, luxur are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. Lovely stones? Stones in a jar. Okay. You said I just ran into a shiny raw um starly, threw shinks at it and it ran frame one. Damn. That's unfortunate. Any shinies we find, I'll be fun if if we find one, but I doubt we're gonna find one. Oh my god. No! What have to do? That the boy Bidoof? The next day. You say it's a Titan? It's Aaron. All you're gonna hear is. You're like, God damn it, not again. God damn it, not again. like a chest that you can store a lot of items in can i change my drip i can't yo if you pick off you what could i be named after him i love the changes they did to him he's got one of my favorite types now no i i might pick oshawa what lovely weather we got thank you so much cedar for the 300 bits man I hope you had a nice sleep, even if this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selene is waiting. Bro, when am I going to get the Yeezy slides, man? Everybody in this town rocking Yeezy slides, and I don't have one. The Survey Corps officers are here on the first floor. Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon. They were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against the whole pack? Outnumbered? This is what happens when you get so far afield. But the Medical Corps will put you to rights. That man's with the Security Corps and even with his own partner. He took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. You said check your mystery gift. How? Captain Celine Retro's here. Bitch look like the president. 
You may enter. Should have the President of the United States. Look at the Abra just vibing out. Okay, let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the ob Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed to do that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon not only yesterday? Wait, why are you making my test harder on purpose, you bitch? My child should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. Yo, Spectrum! Hold on. Hold on, Spectrum being a bitch. I don't, I don't know why Spectrum being a bitch. I'm literally midday. Okay. Bro! Hold up, man. Now Spectrum being a bitch. Hold on, give me a second. I, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for for Spectrum to to just relax because it was doing fine for the first hour. Now it's having random little hiccups. Damn. I'm not gonna eat these fries. I'm, like I'm kind of full. <clears throat> okay, I think I think it kind of relaxed a little bit. I will lend you one of our Survey Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. A fanny pack. That satchel doesn't exactly match your mode of dress. I'll expect you to step in if anything goes wrong. Oh, she's actually nice enough to put somebody with me. <clears throat> Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types, missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress in the adventure, while requests are optional given by people you meet. We're going to be doing a lot of requests. Pardon Retro, come with me for the moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Is something the matter, Professor Leventon? In order to complete our Pokedex and, well, simply surviving or surviving this unforgivable land, Retro absolutely must pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just a ticket to help you accomplish that. Crew. Foam. Splish Splash. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Nah, man. I I, I was going to pick Cyndaquil, but then there's a part of me that doesn't want to pick him because Cyndaquil, Quilava, and Typhlosion always look like this. They don't have the fire out. They used to always have their fire out, and now their fire is not out. So, we're picking Oshawa. Look, I hate the fact that the Pokemon don't have the fire popping out their back. You said they do have it only when they're excited. You said you said they always have it in battle. No, no, no. I want them even when they're out of battle to have the fire on their back. A word of advice, my boy. Play, uh, pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain Pokemon when you're out in the field. Crew, coo, foam. 
They look as if they're cheering on their friend Oshawa. That's nice. Or perhaps they're jealous that it, um, it gets to help you with your trial. That could be. They did do dashing. Wait, they did go dashing from the village when Retro fell out of the sky. Okay, I'll have you assist me with the research for now. Crew. Foom. By the by, what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Oh, well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the obsidian field lands. Okay. Let's go. 20 more Pokeballs? Don't I have, like, a, a shit ton? These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat. Okay. All right, let's clear it out. Yo, Joel, thank you for the resub for 25. What's name? 25 total months. Thank you. Damn, you call me a bitch? You mama guevaso. Turn left after you exit the headquarters. As a matter of fact, I want to explore this building. Oh shit, there's a lot of stuff in here. Ha! Yo, I'm gonna smell your hair now. <laughs> Look at the Abra. Aba. What up, Abra? Is this the new nurse, Joy? Pascal? It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget that you can always return here to rest and recover. Oh my gosh, he's so fucking cute. She's so cute. What was her name again? Giselle? No, Pascal. Not Giselle, Pascal. <gasps> Grandma looking kind of fine too. Grandma. We're running low on potions. Guess I'll need to go and gather some more materials. Damn. Yo, sleeping. Wake up. Bro, wake up. It's the first of the month. Prank him, John. <laughs> okay, let's go to the basement. Damn. This this building is kind of big. Oh, it's just a lot of closed doors. I don't like that. There's a lot of closed doors. Oh. Okay, I found something. Is that a crossbow? Bro, are we killing Pokemon? Taohua. We're in the middle of nowhere here. We have to make... Oh, uh, what we need ourselves. Oh, uh, brother? It may be a small thing, but it sure feels great to be able to make what's needed for the team. My man. Oh, this is where they make the Pokeballs. Okay. But what are you doing? Taki? Hey, um, where'd you come from? Your clothes look kind of weird. Bro, you're literally in the basement in front of a room. Connie looking ass. You said hold ZL. Oh, I could be first person and I could see these people. Yo, dang and rompa style. We're playing dang and rompa now. Bro, where is Where is Gundam Tanaka, bro? Where is Gundam? We're looking for Gundam. Retro POV. <laughs> Cuz I'm super short. Look at this. Let's go upstairs. Uh the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team Kamado. 
You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, mystery kid. Yo, I could choke you out right here with your stupid ass sideburns, bruh. You, you'd be talking a lot of shit. Who the fuck you think you are, bruh? Looking at me all angry. I'm still going upstairs, bitch. Bro! <laughs> the first person is so funny, dude. Whoa. Oh, this is your room. Hey, it's a little Cind Cyndaquil. Notes here. I don't know. Whoa, is that a drawing of a Pikachu? It is. That's a Starly. That's a Abra. That's a Roselia. Give me a hat. All right. Oh, the boy. Look at Rowlet. He's chilling on his tree. I guess this is where Oshawa was hanging out. Okay, let's go. So now we gotta go this way. What you gotta say? Where the mom's at? I found one! How you doing? I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hon. Where they might be from. Shit, don't worry, mama. I'm coming back. I'm coming back and we gonna have a talk. I'm coming back and we gonna have a talk. Who are you? So cute. What's your name? Sumuji. Mama Guevostro, pull up. Mama Guevostro, pull up. Yo, Nez, thank you for the resub, man. I appreciate it. Yo, look at this bitch's name is Sumuji. Pokemon to terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. But she got the. She got the. The fucking Toko's personality. That's her name, right? Toko? If I remember correctly. You said, isn't that the chick butler from the Battle Frontier? <clears throat> she's a she's a scaredy cat. Who's this guy? Yeah, you said, yeah, you were thinking of Toko. No, she has Toko's personality, but her name is Sumuji. Who is this? Yo, he looked like man Cynthia. He got Cynthia's eyes and hair. Wait. A curious getup you have there. I can already tell that you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild. Ginkgo Guild? The go-to choice for any of your... Mercantile needs here in okay, so he's a mercenary. No, I'm not a mercenary a merchant and he's suey I've heard I've heard talk about you. You fell from the sky. Didn't you? That's certainly a tale. I like to hear oh And you got a Pokemon you certainly full of interesting surprises Investigating the odd and noble is key to any good merchant success So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up one? Yo, you're going to straight up battle me, bro? I don't even have clothes on. Or good clothes on. Frick, it sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial that you're attempting. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope that you know that you'll lose if your Pokemon reaches um, 0 HP. Okay. If this motherfucker sends out a Garchomp, full Evoed, not even a Gibble, a Garchomp, I'm going to be mad. A Togepi? And I can move? Yo, the Togepi is trying to hit my shit. Yo. Yo, stop it! Stop it! Stop it, you little shit! I said stop it! Stop! Hit that little bitch! Stop it! 
No. Oh shit, it hit me. He can hit you? Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Bro, you had a Togepi as your first Pokemon. Level up, plus new move. What I get? Bubble. It's always good. Okay, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change your moves, your Pokemon can use in battle. Open up your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and hit. So you could change moves. That's cool. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. Isn't it just throw the Pokeball at the Pokemon? Yeah, I'm making it seem like it's rocket scientists. Like, like I gotta, like I gotta, I don't know, man. It, it's just, isn't it plug and play? Just throw it. At any rate, let me help um, our two battlers recover from their little fucking Pokemon battle. You said Pokeballs are recently new, but they seem pretty simplistic. It's just pick up the Pokeball, see the Pokemon, throw it at them. Some potions. Mmm. I can use them when, whenever they might be worn out of battle. More Galaxy team members means more customers. That's really something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them into battle. Now to the Obsidian Field Lands. When you're leaving Jubilee Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map. And tell rest the guardsmen where you're going. Bro, I don't gotta tell him shit. That way someone can come to your aid if you get knocked out by a Pokemon battle. Bro, I already don't like him. Your trial begins just a short way past from the gate. Alright, I'm gonna keep it a stack with your... You are a real ass nigga for choosing Oscorp. You deserve a level 999 in word pass. Hey, man. Like I said, I was going to choose Cyndaquil, but I don't like the fact that his fire is not permanently out on his back. Like, when he's idle and shit. Like, they kind of ruined the Pokemon for me. Um, You're retro, correct? I was informed that you'd be passing through. Your trial will be taking place outside of the safety of the village. Please take care when you come back. Oh shit, new area, new area, new area. Is there a way I can name the Pokemon? Because I remember Cedo wanted to have the name of the Pokemon. Or do I have to go to a name changer? This is our base camp. Respect the dude dress. If you die, he got to rescue your ass. Nah, man, I don't like the sideburns. This is our base camp, the last safe... Haven before you reach the wild. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Can I catch more than that? Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Look at her Look at her face. Oh, well, you see. Captain Selene got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. This lady's like, yo, if he dies... That's on you. That shit got nothing to do with me. Yo, Celine is, is... She ain't playing, bro. That's our unsparing captain. Uh, But what help exactly can you offer exactly? Can I at least wear your hat? To be honest, my dear girl, I don't intend to lift a finger. Retro's talents are the real deal. He'll pass with flying colors. So you're just going to be my cheerleader. That's what you're saying. Ah, so the responsibility for him still lies, in fact, with me then. Well, Retro, I'm sure you'll be fine. Let's begin the trial. You said Retro's a sideburnist? I am dead, man. You're just making shit up. <laughs> it's like, that's like me saying, man, I hate tents. Yo, Retro's a tentist. What? I hate this rock right here, this weird-looking rock. Retro's a rockist. This is Aspiration Hill. The species of Pokemon you're meant to catch all live here. Wow. Obsidian Fieldlands. Lands. 
there's the bit oof. They should have done the shit that they did in Monster Hunter where where whenever they introduce a Pokemon, they hit you with the Yao Chi Dong Just fucking put some emphasis on that shit. Bit oof. Um hold down the ZL button to focus the wild Pokemon and keep it in its sights. Okay. Oh no, don't tell me my internet is fucking up again. The Japanese introductions from Monster Hunter were fire as fuck. Bro, I wasn't going back. I was just checking on my shit. Okay. I heard the shanks. Hold on, let me put on my headphones. I heard the shanks. That little bitch said, oh. Yo, I just want to explore. Kobe. You caught the bit of well done. Time to find your next Pokemon. Oh, I'm sneaky in the grass. I feel like I'm playing that one game. Um, the that that game, man, Horizon Zero Dawn. What is this? Is that a leak? Oh my god! So you're just gonna hold my hand through this whole expedition, you bitch? There's a Starly. The they're skittish little things. They'll run off if they're startled. I want to explore. So I gotta, so I gotta creep up on him. Press B to crouch. Okay, I just gotta be sneaky. Kobe. That star that got caught as well. Only one more Pokemon to go. Dude, this is not a trial. Give me a real trial. I forgot. There's something I ought to teach you since you're still new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner's Pokeball. Have an item and the rest, but you want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but wants to throw an item? Press X. Just press X for everything. Try throwing your Pokemon Pokeball at the rocks. Catching a Shinx. Okay. So you said I gotta throw a Pokeball? Oh. And they get experience for that? Oh, okay. There, that Shinx. <gasps> oh! Little cute ass shit. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Bro, he looks harmless. Not at all. Not to worry, these Pokemon... No, or well, these things become clear once you focus on the Pokemon around you. Once aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any Pokeballs you throw at them. The more arrows you see pointing up above a Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch. Nice. The X icon will appear in your Pokemon if it's picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Oh... Oh, so we got to beat his ass. We got to make him submit. You got several Pokemon in, in your party, don't you? All right, we got this. It's easy to start a battle against wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. And if you can see it, currently have the item ready to throw. Not a... 
Pokemon press the X button and it will toggle you between your items and the Pokemon. Okay. Where are you at? Whoa. Oh shit, chill, 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 chill. I'm in the grass. Oh no, nah, that bitch wants smoke. You little piece of shit. Nah, bro, hold up. I'm gonna get my bidoof on your ass. Ah! Yo, bidoof. Yo, bidoof, please. Roll out. Hit that bitch with a roll out. You're done. <laughs> it's like, why can't I run around? The damn Pokemon, it just makes me feel funny. Oh, you're done. Critical hit. Let's go, Bidoof. Don't knock Shinx out, catch it. Even in battle, you can throw an empty Pokeball at it. Bitch! Oh, that explains it. Okay. Bit. I'm gonna let my boy beat your ass again. Bidoof, hit him with a rollout. Wait, items. Oh, that's how I gotta do it. Oh, shit. Oh, he about to hurt my bidu. Yeah, switch. I know, I know that's a bad typing, but I gotta hit him with a tackle. Nice. All right, we got it. Hello? Bro, you're in red. Oh my god, the catch rates on these Pokeballs kind of ass. Hello? Wait a minute. Yo. There's absolutely no way. Finally! Oh my god, why didn't that bitch want to get caught? You approach those Pokemon without a hint of fear and caught each one. Bitch, you better close your mouth. God damn. <laughs> close that shit, Akira. Akari, whatever. He says, you're like a gift that, that, okay, you're like a gift the sky dropped to us. With you at your side, I think the Survey Corps has a real chance of compiling a complete Pokedex. This is wonderful. I'm still curious why on earth you came falling from the sky like you did, but for now, let's tell the professor that we're ready to head back. Nah, the Bidoof was too strong. All he, all he knew was rollout. Rollout could body anybody. I said you passed the trial with flying colors, and it seems that you went and did just that. Congratulations. you taking your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. We have cameras? With skills like yours, I suppose this was a, a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Okay.
In time, you'll be able to send Pokemon you caught to live in the village pastures. You can bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory. We've never had someone skilled enough to do so. Come on now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Silene awaits for our reports at the headquarters. I hope she's pleased. Because she tried to send me out to get killed. Yeah, the background music is nice. It's very, very relaxing. Look what I did, bitch. You tried to send me out to die. Guess who's back? It seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Get changed into the room you used last night. Then you report at once to the third floor. Pref okay, present yourself in uniform to our commander. Okay. Bro, what's with the internet? Bro, what's with the internet? Bro, I fucking hate the internet. <sighs> Alright, give me one second. Let me make sure that... Spe because here's the thing. I told you, chat... That New York, we might be getting hit with a blizzard soon. There's a winter storm warning. Oh shit, it's gonna be snowing all day. Tonight. It's gonna start snow. Oh shit, yeah, this is gonna be bad. You said switch to AT&T now, bro. I'm gonna switch to uh, fucking... What's the name? To AOL. I'm making sure that everything is good. Because the last thing I need is a, is a email like, hey. So we got a change in uniform in our house. And then we got to come back and go to the third floor. Let's go. Let's change. Bro, I wasn't looking at that. I was looking at this. How the hell did it go to the wall? Oh, the drip. Oh, the Yeezys. The Yeezy slides. Colored contacts. Oh, shit. We got that type of luxury. We could have contacts. Yo. I'm going to have red eyes, bro.
Where's my hat? I don't get a hat? Red eyes, black boy. Look how well our Survey Corps uniform suits you. It's almost as if the captain had it tailored just for you. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room that you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Oh, my hat! Now present yourself to the commander. Say less, my queen. Oh, commander. Hello? Nothing in here. Oh, he's upstairs. Who are you? Oh my god, what's your name, girl? Shit, what's your name? Clarissa Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope I can help <laughs> Clarissa who this Damn, why you look so angry? Toshi get Pokemon to help with our manual work. No way. That's crazy talk. Well, guess what? I just did that shit bitch Yo, you look like that one gym leader in freaking Gen 2. You look like the dragon gym leader in Gen 2. God damn, you look like a snack. Sanqua. Sanqua. Maybe we ought to build some spare lodging in case anyone else falls from the sky. Yo, look at her hair. She got a bun. She got the Yeezy slides on. Cute ass leggings. Yo. Yo, wait for me. All right, let's go. Who the hell? Bro? What are you doing? Okay, let's go upstairs. I have been waiting for you. I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. So you are Retoro. It's an honor, sir. You know your manners, at least. I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky now then let's see what you're made of face me in combat in your room face me in, in combat try to throw him nah bro i'm gonna charge at him god damn you got vigor i'll give you that you need to work on your sumo technique but i do see some potential he threw my ass don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Your superstitious, um, your superstitious among us might be your arrival as a what portent of disaster. I don't even know what the fuck you just said, bro. But you passed the trial that you was put on. No matter how odd you may seem, you are part of the Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, Retro, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about... Okay, keep your wits about you as you work. Because we're about to die. That's what he's saying. Complete! Do I get rewards? Uh, 
Among Us has ruined words, I swear they, they have. So the commander has also accepted you. But I, um, but understand this. You begin as a no star. Recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps and you will move up in the ranks. Indeed. So we gotta get high rank, man. We gotta be the best. You will need this. Pop more Pokeballs. A recipe for Pokeballs. A recipe crafting Pokeballs from scratch required one Apricorn and one Tumblestone. Is that really all it takes to make a Pokeball? And $3,000 as well. You will have to buy the necessary materials. Damn. You got money like that? You are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what he needs to know. Of course. Not as the experienced crafts person here. Let me explain a bit to start with. Crafting means making items with your own two hands. No shit. You can buy some items at the general store, but self-sufficiently, it's worth striving for. You can even make our most valuable tools, Pokeballs. Um, think... Wait, you think... You said think where we'd be if we couldn't do that. Let's head to the Craftworks. Okay, let's do that. Do we have to do everything here, or can I just do it, like, in a workbench or some shit? I, I remember what I told you. I wanted to talk to your sexy ass. My name is Anthe. I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I ready you at a change of clothes. So here you go. I hope they fit. Oh, you could change more than my clothes. Astar Flames with the 37 months in a row coming through. Thank you, baby. Thank you. You said our streamer can't read? Hey, man. I've been saying that shit since day one. The only thing I could read is, is Yu-Gi-Oh cards, maybe. This way to the craft works retro. Nah, where her fine ass, bro? I need to buy some more clothes. Hey, yo, ma. You received a shaman fancy kimono. And a shame and fancy bottom. Wait, what? A precious gift? Wait, what's that? Was that like a mystery? Was that like a mix mystery box gift or something? You received a Pikachu festival mask and an Eevee festival mask. Wait, what? I need to buy some clothes. I could look like a Team Rocket member with my black hat. Oh, I could look like a ninjutsu. Oh, Ghost of Tsushima vibes. Bro, hold on. Put my shit on. I'm already changing clothes. Like, I just put on the Survey Corpse clothes on, and I was already like, nah, I don't want that shit. Everyday trousers. Bro, I'm looking like I'm actually about to just be straight up fighting Pokemon. I don't want none of these sandals. I could oh I could put on glasses. Okay. Ha. Bro, it's just floating on my head, dude. It's not even attached to me. 
Aw, oh, dude. <gasps> Fancy kimono shaman. Bruh. I'm going to look too cute. Why would they give me this outfit, bro? Oh my god, I can't run around barefoot. Hold on, hold. Yo, I'm so mad at that thing. Every time. Give me my Yeezy slides, please. Yes. Yeah, female pro tag gets better outfits. Why aren't my Yeezy slides on? Yes. 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 You said I'm inside the house? Oh, since I'm inside the house, it doesn't show my... Wait a minute. The shoes are on now. And the shoes are off. Okay, that makes sense. They didn't explain that shit. They did not explain that shit. They should have told me that in the game. You said, wow, Japanese standards. Do I look Japanese, chat? I'm a Dominican. You said, check your mystery gift. You says, you can use the workbench here and the craft work anytime. You need to make an item in the village. Oh, that's our workbench? Okay. Crafting items. Okay. You said you watch anime, so that automatically makes it enough. Let's make 20. That's it? That's it? Now oh, that's some craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my boy. Uh, you'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd powers to shrink themselves down. With the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Um, also, the more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are, my guy. My Pokedex. How does it look? It's just a book. It's actually just a book with some string. This is the Pokedex? Oh my god, and I gotta take the pictures. Oh man. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well to aim and seek out all the Pokemon there is in this grand region. You'll have to complete lots of research tasks to help the professor fill out the Pokedex. The same goes for me, of course. I've also got Pokemon to research as a Survey Corps member. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use in your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you're ready to go. Okay. No Rotom in this dex. Alright, let's go. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. That guy better not say shit to me. He's always looking at me, bro. I couldn't help over here. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? What do you want? 
I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. Now, what you want, bro? What you need? We got the same hat. We're brothers now. So this Pokemon called Rumple. Or Wormple. Have you heard of it? Yes. I was having a chat with the professor, and he told me that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battle, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. This phenomenon is called evolution. <gasps> oh. Yeah. All right, let's go get a Wurmple. Let's get a Wurmple. Wait for me. God damn it. What up, Sumuji? Say something. Oh, this is a nice loading screen. You said check your mystery gift? How do you check the mystery gift? Where's the mystery gift at? Righto, let's get to it, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of yours, there are a great many research tasks I need your help to carry out. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex if... I mean, for your reference, anytime. What? Unusual research task. I don't get it. Some Pokemon have unusual research tasks. And you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Okay. One last piece of advice, Retro. If you see a wild Pokemon attack coming your way, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Watch closely and remember what I do so you can do it later. Hop! Yo, that's the Kingdom Hearts dodge roll. That beautiful flowing bit of gymnastic is what we call a dodge roll. If you're light on your feet and you could dodge out of the way, out of the Pokemon's task, I, I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls now. Thank God I thank God no fat rolls. No fat rolls. Also retro, you can now explore with your heart's content. Be careful, Toe. I can imagine. Yo, thank you, um, Akuro, for the 100 bits. Thank you. The security corps had to collect me when I got the business end of some shank thundershock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told us about that. You were sleeping. I got lots of experience to draw on, and I'll teach you plenty. So where's the mystery box chat? You guys keep talking about mystery box. Where is it? Is it back at the village? I heard the shinks. Oh. It's in the main menu? What's in the mystery box? Is this something worthwhile or it's not even unlocked? All right. So So chat, if I don't even have it unlocked, why y'all spamming mystery gift? Oh, I could just save my progress right here. The kimono set. Is there actually a kimono set? So so is mystery gift available or is it not? How do I dodge roll? Oh. I'd be like, ah, 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 ah. Now, let me share some Survey Corpse wisdom. Focus on the Pokemon with the ZL and then press down to open up the Pokedex. You'll see what task you'll have to do for that Pokemon. Bidoof! Bidoof, no. Come back. If you have items, I'll press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now. 
So what do I need to do? Oh shit, not roll out. Oh my god. Nah, we do not want to use rollout. You said by pressing and holding ZL, you will aim at the target. And then I gotta press down. I did not mean to do that. I was holding ZL. Okay. So you said I gotta hold ZL. Bruh, ZL, okay, and then I gotta press down, number of heavy specimens caught, numbers defeated, so I gotta defeat, wait a minute, so I gotta catch 25 of this guy, I gotta catch 7 heavy ones, defeat 15, Bro, what is up with my fucking internet, dude? Oh my gosh. You know what I feel like doing, chat? I feel like unplugging my, my ethernet, completely unplugging all my shit, and waiting like two minutes, and then replug everything back in, and then just start up the stream. Because this is so annoying. I don't understand why Spectrum is being bad today, because I'm literally streaming during the day. A Jeep Pie... The research level increases from variety of tasks, but not all of them. They're going to explain more later. So I caught two. I got to defeat one. So let's so let's go and defeat one. You said move my router around? I mean, it makes no sense to move my, my router because I'm hardwired. I'm literally using an Ethernet. They're just communicating. Oh shit, and everybody levels up? This is like X EXP. Oh, that's what it was. Med medicine leak. Oh. Okay. Okay. Numbers you've evolved, zero. Oh, okay. I think you got it, but a reminder, don't forget to open your Pokedex when focusing on Pokemon and check the research tasks. Just ZL, check your um, tasks. Okay. One of them is to catch Starly without being spotted. Okay. That's easy. Bum, bum, bum.
That bitch. Look at him. He's like, he's like, what the fuck was that? I just yoinked this homie. He's like, yo, I could have sworn somebody just tried to kidnap me. This guy's over here. He doesn't see me, but he's walking towards this direction. I'm about to catch him too. Look at this dumbass. Hear his footsteps? He ain't even gonna see it coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smack him right in his face. Look at him walking. Boy, if you don't get your... Number caught without being spotted. Three out of five. Bro. There's a Shinx over there. That little bitch about to see me. Oh. Oh, he mad. He is mad. He is mad, bro. That little bitch is smart, bro. Shake's annoying as hell. There we go. Oh my god, bro. I'm gonna have to fuck him up. Yo, he doesn't... Yo, you can't sneak up on Shinx. You gotta actually beat his ass. I mean, you could sneak up on him, but it's gonna take way too much work. Hold on. Don't worry, I'm coming through, bro. To throw berries you could throw berries too as like a distraction oh bro that that grass is glitching out okay Throw berries to lure Pokemon and distract them. Oh, shit. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that was a bit oof in the grass. I didn't see him. Does he like it? Bitch, you made me waste my... Nice. I could go in the water? 
No way. Bro, that's crazy. I didn't know I could go in the water. You said and drown. Shush. <gasps> There's the rumple. Yes. Gotcha, bitch. I got a wampo. Oh, shit. I see float cells. I feel like this game is going to be like Xenoblade, where I'm going to run into a Pokemon that's going to be mad broken. Like the big monkey. Starly. Let me get some more Starlies. All right, hold on, hold on. Still caught your ass. Oh, he realized that his homie did. Bitch realized that I took his homie. Here's my question that I also have to chat. Um. This guy about to this guy about to get bodied. That one is level five too. Wait, which one is the one in battle? I'm assuming it's this one. That didn't do anything. Why didn't he use Rolla? He missed? There we go. Alright, defeated two. Nice. I gotta heal up my Pokemon, though. How do I heal up my Pokemon? I'm just trying to catch everything. <gasps> Yo, they got a ponyta, bro. A fucking ponyta. Gotcha, bitch. I'm about to come back. 
as a Survey Corps leader. They're going to be like, wait a minute. We let this motherfucker go out one time and he brought back like 20 Pokemon? Like, what's going on? What's going on, bro? I'm just too good. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to throw my ball at it. It's an Eevee. Okay. Let me get this motherfucker right here. Gotcha, bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <gasps> oh, I'm getting the fuck out of there, bro. That's a big ass horse. And his eyes are red. That horse is huge. I'm out. That horse was gigantic. Nah, bro. I'm not fucking with that. He is... That's a big-ass horse. I just smacked him. Oh, shit. Now, nah, give me back my berry. Pet the horse? Can I pet... Can I pet this horse? I'm not petting the other one. Another rumple. Bro, I'm just catching everything, man. These Pokemon are like items. Double catch. Yes, sir. Bro, if you want to scrap, bro, I'll beat your ass. Come through. Oh, my God. My shit's actually about to die. And he's dead. Oh, no. He survived. Now, nah, time to swap him. Okay. Oh my god, Starly, please. Hit him with Aerial Ace. Yes, sir. Hit him with another Aerial Ace. What are these rocks? Oh, that's how I can make Pokeballs with the Tumble Stones. That's where you get the Tumble Stones from. Okay. Makes sense. Bitch, you don't, you don't want the smoke. You don't want the smoke. You wanted the smoke. You said, you know, you could change your moves to strong and agile. 
Bro, I can't do that yet. I y'all y'all all telling me to do things in the chat that I can't do yet. Go to mystery gift. Do agile style and do other stuff. I can't do those yet. Chat spoiling without realizing that they spoiling. Okay. Okay, drop the medicine league. I'm trying to get as much materials as I can before I go back. And I just want to explore a little bit more. I know she's waiting for me over there, but... Okay. What else? Oh, there's a nice tree over there. I see a bunch of rumples or wormples. Bunch of shinks. I only got nine Pokeballs left. Bitch, there's so many rumples, rumples here. Is he asleep? That one was asleep. I've never seen a rumple sleeping. Look how slow it's gonna take him to get to the. I feel like I caught a bunch of these. Let me start defeating these in battle, actually. Because I think I have to defeat them in battle. Whoop. Bite them. Rumple keeping his guard up. Poison Fang. And I'm poison. Well, GG's. Am I still poisoned? Oh, I got it. Okay. Am I still poisoned? I'm not. Nah, these berries. Okay. Okay. You said status. Okay, so status effects don't carry. Cause I was gonna say, I was getting a little paranoid already. Nice. What's that noise? Nice. Six out of six caught. All right. I 
I'm trying to get really used to the controls in this game. I only got three Pokeballs left. Oh. Let's save the two Pokeballs that I have. That was a Luxio, or that sounded like a Shinx. No, that sounded like a fucking Luxray. Where's that bitch at? Oh. Oh shit, nah, he could run. He could run. I just saw that little movement. That little movement alone was he could run. You said run past it, it's slow. You are a fucking liar. He literally just skipped. He literally did like a two, he did a two foot skip. That shit is not slow. I need more Pokeballs anyway. Caught six out of six. Okay. So we saw the Rapidash. We saw the Snorlax. I heard a Luxray. I heard like a full-grown Luxray screaming over there. Let me grab those materials over here as well. What Pokemon was that? I forgot what Pokemon that was, but I heard him. He said Snorlax was ready. You thought that Snorlax was was slow? I know there's a big dog up here. I think I'm going to find a Luxray on top of one of these shits. Because I heard one. You said, do you know how to access the Pokemon? Nope. To be honest, there's no reason for me to really be accessing Pokemon. Because I feel like it's all the same ones I've just been catching over and over. I need to go make more Pokeballs. That's what I need to do. So I need to go to a workbench. What's up here? There's a Shanks and shit. Let's go back. Did I just make it back without trying to make it back? I think I did. Yes! Oh shit. Okay. Yes. Make me 20 more. Um, nice. You said releasing them will um, reap rewards. Okay, let's let's continue doing the thing. Because me, I don't know why, I'm like just having fun, just catching little Pokemon and getting materials. Man, why are why are Shinx so hostile? They don't look like they're hostile, but Bitch. I 
I might hit him with the illest Kobe throw. Kobe. Oh. Kobe. Kobe! Never mind, man. All right, let's go. This world is so big. Nice. Six out of six. You find a Pokemon called Buizel. I already got him. Damn, she kind of late. Try to hit it with moves just like Shinx, and you need a battle to catch it. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edge of the, your, your screen turns red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Mmm... To be precise, you have to see it use the move in battle. That's so weird. Now go on ahead and take care of some of the uh, the Buizel research tasks. Okay. So what move? using quick attack let me just catch it double quick attack nice i need to catch one more breezel let's not use that Where'd the girl go? Over here. You said, where's the Pokemon Center at? I am the Pokemon Center. Also, random question. In terms of Pokemon Shinies, do they pop up in the overworld the same way that the Pokemon are running around like this? Is that how they pop up in the overworld? Yes? What are you doing? Where are you going? Oh, he did. They also make noise. If we find a singular shiny in this, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put on our inner A drive, bro. If we find a shiny, inner A drive is gonna come out. Okay. A little reward for keeping up with me. Wait, a crafting kit? So does that mean I could craft from anywhere? Contains everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials that you have in your satchel. 
Ah, okay. Uh, recipe for potions. So I need to get recipes. You can craft anywhere. Okay. So as long as you got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make pokeballs. Yo, yo. Thank you for the five months with the Twitch Prime, baby. Sorry for the repeat message. Saludos from Spain, my guy. Hope you enjoy. Damn, you from Spain? Sheesh. My man, all the way from Spain. I hope you guys are doing all right over there, man. Thank you so much for the support. I really appreciate it. How goes your research? The cover of your Pokedex will tell you if there are any tasks that you finish and you can report. Task with unreported data. What does that mean? So who do I report it to? Go back to the professor. Oh, okay. <laughs> My dad? So before I go to Professor Lantern, let me catch a couple more Pokemon. Wait, what does this guy need? Is he like a quest? Does he need something done? Oh no, he just gives me information about the Sparkle Stones. Oh, let me pass the bridge. Oh, I gotta be a first star recruit. Okay. Level 11. I caught 11. So let's catch one more. And no, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay. So let's report all these things and let's see what the hell's going to happen. You said, how am I liking the game so far? Um, It's definitely very unique. It's way different than any other Pokemon game that has come out. And in a sense, I really do like it because it's very refreshing. It's not the same old bullshit with any other Pokemon game. You must have um, listened attentively to Akira's teachings. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and the rewards that they're going to offer. You'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon that you've caught. Oh, that's dope. Oh my god, I caught that much Pokemon? Four thousand dollars, bro. I wish this was my job. Four grand. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokedex entries, you'll gain Pokemon research points. You said that's forty bucks, my guy. Excuse me, sir. I see four digits. That says four grand, my guy.
You make good progress on these research tasks. I do believe that you're ready to move up in the ranks. Already? No, I don't want to report the news to Silene. No, I don't want to see that bitch. I want it to stay here. I don't want to keep talking to these bitches. Oh, my God. Oh, he has tasks for me. I know Shink's ears had odd markings on the inside, but what are they? No use. I can't remember. This is this keeps me up all night. If you catch a sink, bro, I got a Shinx. Here you go. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what they look like. Bro, here you go. Yes, here you go, man. I got like eight to show you. It looks like a freaking, I don't know, a ship. You looking at the Shinx ass? Oh. I can't tell you what a relief it is. Felt like I had my bone. Uh, I felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throats. Only the throats of my brain and the bones of thought. Hey, yo. That whole sentence is sus. Thanks for helping me. Get the bone out. Hey, yo. Give me the potion. What you need? What you need? The survey corpse with the Pokedex. Well, what are you looking for? You you want a Starly? I got you. Adorable Starly. Here you go. Oh, I got I need a completed Pokedex entry for a Starly. Male and females have different appearances. Let me see. Pokemon characters with expressions pog so the markings on their foreheads are different sizes incredible you better close that mouth thank you for letting me um, read its pokedex entry i got a starly here you go just take wait a minute wait a minute take the dookie one take the lowest level one level two here you go The smooth curl of its feathers on its head. I adore it to the last feather. Hello there, Starly. Want to touch it? <laughs> Chat, do you want to touch it? No! I think I'm quite satisfied by just looking at it. What? Besides, uh, it might let loose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly. Bruh. All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Touch it! Some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know? You a pussy! Or adorable Starly. She don't even want to touch it. Ten Pokeballs? Okay. Yes. I caught a bunch of them, but I'm going to give you the worst one. The one that's level three. Here you go. You really brought me one? You must be as good as the rumors say. I like the name of this Rumpel right away. He's going to give it a name. What? Which of these do you think is best? Beauticia, Beautifred, or Beauty Beugene. Damn. I gave this man a, a Wurmple, and you're gonna fucking curse him with a name like this? Beugene. Fuck it. I'll raise Beugene to be Splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. All right, Bugene. It was nice to know you. Bugene. Take the Rumpel back. <laughs> Look at the Rumpel. He's like, rah, 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 rah. He's like, why the fuck you put me here? Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> what you got? What? Wait, what are you selling? What's up with this banner? The Togepi banner? What are you selling? Selling drugs? What's this? 
Oh, they just have a poke training grounds. Now nah, I'm out. <coughs> you said watch it become a dust tox. Worst case scenario. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Check this shit out, bitch. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Give me my gold star now. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Heavy Balls. A. Yo, Pokemon up to level 20 will also obey your orders. The rewards you earn from your surveys, okay, will be more generous now. Perfect. Heavy balls. A recipe for heavy balls. A recipe for revives. Oh, shit. We're about to start dying. That's what they're saying now. They're saying we're about to start dying now. And yet flourishing among them like the testament of your native talent to work hard. Okay. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone. And proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. I mean, I'm doing better than everybody else in this whole village, so... Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Oof! Okay, let's go. Let's do more missions. For today, at least you've earned yourself a meal with the wallflower and a good night's rest. You unlock mystery gift now. Also, you should be, you should have emailed the mystery gift code for the, the mystery gift code. I, I think I remember. I, I got something for the Pokeballs. I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done earning your first star rank. Potato mochi tastes so much better when you have something to be happy about. Close that mouth. Still, we'll be very busy from now on between our Survey Corp duties and the requests for from folks here. Which reminds me, have you been... Have you already taken on that request from... Yeah, I think so? The people of Jubilife aren't too familiar with Pokemon, you see. So if a problem arises, the Survey Corps gets called to help. Indeed so. Speaking of which, aren't you... No, weren't you approached by with a request? Yes, I did it. I was told that it would require a bit skill with battling Pokemon, so... Damn, you turned down somebody's request? That request came from mine, the Diamond Clan. If people of the Diamond Clan can you know, have lived here in Hisun since before the Galaxy team arrived, if we could establish good relations, I'm sure that there's much that we could learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow for now. We should eat and go to sleep. You said this game likes their mouth open? They be having their mouth wide open. Like, I'd be like, close that shit the next day. Listen, do you have a bit of time after this? There's something I could use your help with. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What do you need help with? Oh my goodness. What, what do you need help with? All right. Thank you. I'll be waiting for you at the training grounds then. Oh, you want to fight, you dumb bitch. Okay, if you've um, caught a lot of Pokemon, you may want to visit the uh, visit the Pacers to change up your team. You said 15, Retro. Bro. Bro. Bro, I'm playing a 15-year-old character. What are you talking about, bro? How do you th How do you think this character is? They said that I'm 15.
Okay. She won a battle, bro. I'm about to beat her ass. Get the scrapping. I know you're busy. You said you said she said I look like 15. Nah, she said I look like 15, so I'm 15. Listen, I had an epiphany. Everything all right with your crazy ass? You see, I got a partner of my own. We may not get along perfectly, but we've got to work together to help complete the Pokedex. You have a Pokemon? Yes, here is my partner Pikachu. Time to beat a woman. Wow, wow, and it used the actual Pikachu cry. Wow, it's been a long time since I since I heard that sound effect. Because every every time it's Pikachu in the in the new Pokemon games. Pikachu! When we were attacked by those shanks, I got too scared to think straight, and I couldn't handle battling as a team. Ever since then, my partner refused to listen to anything I tell him. And if I'm being honest, I'm not even sure how to order him. How to guide him in battle. Be God. But when I saw how you and your Pokemon work together, I realized we need to do more too. So please, have a battle with me. I want to learn how to fight effectively. Pikachu, I'm sorry, but you're about to get your ass beat. Now with Oshawa. That is the first and worst choice. Not good. That's actually bad. I'm like, this is like the worst way you could start off a battle. Well, because that was like the worst start of a battle. Bitch, use Thunder Wave straight off rip. You know what's crazy? She got such a strong Pokemon, and you tell me that she couldn't use it? Pikachu avoided the attack. Oh my god. Hit him with one rollout. Use one more rollout. Oh my goodness. Damn, bruh. Use the other one. Why it does that quick attack do? Quick attack to thunder? Oh shit, double? Oh, she only had one Pokemon? That Pokemon was strong as hell though. You and your Pokemon seem to be completely in step with one another. No, it's just I had much more Pokemon than you. You only have one Pokemon. Thank you for battling us. I could be wrong. For a moment, I felt like Pikachu and I finally understood one another. Let's keep working at it, okay, Pikachu? Bigger. Guess I was wrong then. But I'll strive to work more as a team with my partner the way you do. Oh, she looks so sad. Assuming Pikachu and I can bridge some gaps. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have a thing called types, which apparently makes a difference with how battle goes. Pikachu is an electric type. Oh, come on. You're telling me this now? you telling me this now? You, you expect me to learn this grid? Fire type moves are strong against grass type. Grass type moves are strong against water type. Water type moves are strong against fire types. So you're the one, the new recruit everyone's talking about. Yo, she's huge, bro. She could throw my ass. 
I see you got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give um, ad what advice I could. Captain Suzui is a master of an ancient martial art, of course. One of the specialized in Pokemon battles. Now listen, if your Pokemon truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you could use strong style. See? This is where I learned the styles. Freaking, what was this motherfucker's name, man? This, what is this motherfucker? People in the chat. Agile style. Such a move had less power behind it, but your Pokemon can act more quickly afterwards in truly favorable conditions. Okay. So strong style hurts more. Agile style is faster, so you can attack faster. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves, which is right for the given situation. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, you can have it use agile style or strong style by pressing the LOR button, the left, right button, selecting the move in battle. Sometimes your Pokemon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Agile style reduces the power of the move, raises the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. Strong style boosts the power of the move, lowers the user's action speed, uses more PP than usual. If you want to teach your Pokemon some powerful moves, just let me know. Close that mouth! Since who's teaching, you should serve you well when you're up against tough Pokemon. Now I suppose it's time that I went to meet my... My who? My dick. You remember I mentioned at the Wallflower that I could just use your help with Mai's request. Mm. Aspiration Hill? You could come as well once you've ready your Pokemon and team. Okay. Retro unlock Nen. I guess so. Are my Pokemon healed up? Yes. Oh, look. You could just change moves. It's freaking Sita. And just just so we could be clear. Okay. And the Starly is going to be Zazu. I said it. And... And you're going to be Mono. Okay, and the rest of these two, it's fodder. Mystery gift. <gasps> what can I get? Clothing gift. Wow. Fancy kimono, fancy bottoms, banes, feudal. Okay, we got a cool mask. Get with code. I'm not going to use that code yet. I'm going to use it after the stream. Lost and found. Merit points. Max Law Satchel. I want to trade a Pokemon. I want to get items. What can you do for me? I offer different services. Trading. Oh.
Oh shit. Linking cord. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. Oh. This is if you want to get a little fancy and you want to make your Pokemon. Is that a lucky egg? Oval stone. My bad. Okay. You said what kind of services? Hey, man. The link cable? I don't know what it is, but it's probably to evolve a Pokemon. All right. Where's the baneful mask? <gasps> oh, my goodness. I look so cool. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's more my speed. Oh, but why do I got a flower on my back? I mean a flower. A, a, a little heart. Freaking bow. You said the Verlicify mask? You're ruining it. You're ruining it. Don't ruin it. You're ruining it. Didn't Verlicify already start off by saying that the game is trash? Yeah, Verlicify, I think he already like he he's already starting to get those free likes, clicks, and impressions. But but you already know how people are. People are falling for it. Because I feel like he does that with every Pokemon game that comes out. And then when it's unanimously loved by everyone, he's the he's always the first one to be like, oh no, this shit is garbage. This shit is trash. And then and then and then when he does it, he he does it. In a, in a bitch kind of way where he turns off comments he he disables like like to dislike ratios he just talks shit but he wants nobody else's input like like at least me when i talk my shit i let chat go crazy if they want to but he's the type of person that when he talks shit he wants nobody else to say anything about it I mean, but at the end of the day, everybody's entitled to their quote-unquote own opinions. Now, here's my thing. If I have this mask on, it's not going to show my face in the cutscenes. I don't think so, right? It's just going to show my face with the mask. So let's try this out for a little bit. How you doing, Sumuji? Cute ass. You said, um, don't trust the guy with the first Sona. Yo, I gotta close my mouth. Did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to anyway. Yo, Volo. Fuck whatever you said, but where's your sister? Where's your sister, Volo? Where's your sister at? There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see? It's called the secret back strike technique. Hey, yo! Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it. Hey, yo! Making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once the battle starts. Hitting a Pokemon from behind. Hey, yo! For a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. The secret technique is called Backstrike. If you're part of the Survey Corps now working to create that Pokedex as, um, as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day that you accomplish that. My man's talking about back shots? Shit. Shit. Am I playing the right game? 
Yo, what up, my guy? What's poppin'? You're that boy from the Survey Corps. Mushroom cake. He said it took him 20 years to come up with this recipe. How old are you? But you're the talk of the village. If people can see you making my mushroom cakes, famous as you are, mmm, let's taste the mushroom cakes. One springy mushroom is all you need. All right, that shit better be bussin', those mushroom cakes. If those mushroom cakes is trash, I'm never talking to you again. Bro, what the hell was that? You saw how I flew off that rock? Whoa, what is that air? Wait, what is that? What is that hang time? Jesus Christ. That's a Game Freak animation. I kind of flew. Okay. Let's go. Yo, I I gotta hit up my sister. Because I feel like she's gonna like this game a fucking lot. Because she loves Breath of the Wild. So Breath of the Wild and Pokemon mixed together. I feel like she's gonna love this shit. What did I need to get? I need to capture up to 25. Investigate the Bidoof that bother the village. I don't know that. Number you've evolved, one. Hmm. I need to catch more. Keep on catching them. Starlies. What what do Starly like? They like the honey. They like the honey. They like the sugar. <laughs> That's how I threw that shit. You said the beans, they like the honey. Oh my God, fuck that Pokemon. There you go, fucking annoying. Shinx always trying to flex on people. He likes what? Preferred foods. He likes peas. Wheat and mushrooms. Peas, wheat, and mushrooms. Oh, fuck. You said Masuda not touching this game was such a good thing. Wait, Masuda had nothing to do with this game? Pretty much.
Don't let your guard down. Now retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. I got my star, bitch. <gasps> Munchlax! Oh, little Munchlax, bruh. Over here. Hold on. Oh, my sister just... You know what's crazy? I was just talking about my sister, and she just texted me right now saying that she just bought the game. Hold up. Give me a sec. Yeah. So my sister just copped it. She's downloading it right now. My, this is retro. Oh, my is cute. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume that you've prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me my. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is. If you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait right now. I, I'd rather that we get straight to the point. I have no problem that I need help solving. So the more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? Uh, Yes, I do. I ain't no bitch. That's good to hear. The security corpse of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side by choice without needing any silly little balls like you use. So you're trying to say my balls are small. Is that what you're saying? That's why the designs on your leggings look like fucking low-res polygon JPEGs, bitch. Watch and learn. Oh my god, that's a lot of damage. Make him flinch. Oh my god. That's a fat fuck, man. He kind of chunky. Use rollout, uni. Be of use, uni. Uni, use rollout. Use it again, Uni. There's no flinching in this game. And he avoided the rollout. Well, GG's. Uni, you had one job. I'm disappointed. I don't know if I should release now. Aerial Ace. Oh, critical hit. Strong style. Mama Guebazo. Can I punch the Pokemon myself? Use Aqua Jet. Priority moves. I thought it was not going to go down. Damn. Mon. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battle for us. You better heal me up. And let you have these. You people make all kinds of things with your crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Five Vivichokes. What is that? Also called Morning Dew Bud. It is used as a material for crafting items that can restore vitality to a Pokemon that has fainted. 
Revives. My god, they're giving me a lot of revives. I'm getting scared now. You and your Pokemon fought well together. You practically acted as one. Rather like the legendary hero of old. The one we tell stories to our children. Huh? Rather like the legendary hero of old. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see? I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble in the Deer Track Heights. It's as large, fearsome foe like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you? To Deer Track Heights? Yo, I gotta close my mouth. Okay. Your Arceus phone is beeping. That thing you have, it's showing you where you gotta go, isn't it? My, my, that's some curious sort of map. Is that one of the Galaxy Team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does seem to show the way to the Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. Oh, shit. She said, I haven't played a game in a while, to be honest. <laughs> you know what's crazy about my sister chat? My sister said, like, the only two games that she played was Sword and Shield and Breath of the Wild on the Switch, like, like dedicatedly. Pokemon Diamond, she stopped playing the game. After she, I think, invested like a week's worth of time of just trying to find the shiny Shinx. Once she found the shiny Shinx in, in Diamond and Pearl, she just stopped playing the game. And I'm like, damn, that's why I recommend don't even shiny hunt, bro. Because it completely just discourages you from playing the game. Especially like if you're shiny hunting from the beginning. I feel like for anybody playing a Pokemon game, my thing is play the game casually, finish the game, then after you finish the game, you do the shiny hunting. But then there's people that's just like, no, I want to get the shiny in the beginning, even if it takes me a month to do it. And I'm like, fuck that shit. I ain't doing that. Mm -mm. You do you. I'll leave this in your hands. All right. Like, it, like, right now, if I find a shiny, I find a shiny. If I don't find a shiny, I don't care. I'm still going to play the game. Once I finish the game or whatever, then I'll probably decide to, like, you know, look for shinies, do whatever the fuck it takes to find one, all that stuff. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know about the almighty Sinnoh? Almighty what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created by the very universe using its power over time flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago hiding itself from our sight almighty Sinnoh has only rarely been seen by any human if the old tales are to be trusted but there are still pokemon here today in hisui with a connection to almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of the wardens like myself to attend to their needs the pokemon that graces deer track heights is one of those honored few it is directly descended from a pokemon that was blessed with almighty Sinnoh's protection you said, bro, people shiny hunting the starters and Brilliant Diamond are Pepegas. You have an easier time hunting them in the underground during post game. No, I know, but there's just a lot of people out there that's just like, you know, I want to play through the whole game and the adventure with my shiny. But then you got to go through that hell of just going through that slow ass boot up screen, opening up a briefcase and praying that you have the Pokemon, you know? Follow me. Oh! Cricket Tune! Cricket Tune, Cricket Tune! Ah, oh, he saw me, you little bit. Yeah, he fast! <laughs> Look at how he's running. It looks like he's gliding.
Okay, he likes it. Woo! That was a long throw. Bitch! Gotta get closer. Two times I've given it food. Okay. Nice. Cricket top level six. Yo, how do I get rid of Pokemon in my party? Can I do it right now or do I have to go to like the tent or something to swap Pokemon out the party? Hit him with the back shot. Why is he moving like that? Yo, his movement is weird. Nice. Number you caught without being spotted. Okay. Chat. You said chat. What is... Que es suidad? got away cherry berries So my bars are low. Don't worry, my balls are gonna get higher soon. I could just make more. You said if I got the Master Sword? Not yet. I'm about to get it soon, though. Okay. I'm trying to learn how can I craft Pokeballs. Oh, okay. I got to go there. Then I got to go here. Okay. I got to get some Pokemon and I got to find some materials. I got to make sure I don't accidentally run into something important and then scare it away. You said, can you go from the back style with Gardevoir in this game? Hey. Hey, I don't know, man.
Hitting it with the back style. The way this Pokemon moves is like so weird. He moves like a he moves like a vehicle. Oh shit, he heard me. Look around, bitch. Why is it getting dark? Bitch keeps turning around on a dime. Okay. Bidoof, come back. Bidoof, come back. Bidoof, come back. Okay. What happens if you do just throw your Pokemon out like that, actually? Okay. Vivid Choke. What are those drift looms? No, I'm bugging. I was like, yo, is that. Are we already running into ghost types? Bugwort. Squidward. He said kidnappers? Yo, yeah, true. Those Pokemon are. No, those Pokemon are kidnappers. Actually. <laughs> They're actual kidnappers. <laughs> They will take your kids and then try to lift them up away. They'll take them into the afterlife on oh God. Never, never have your kids outside if you know there's drift loons around. Oh, that one escaped? What's with the music? Yo, the sky looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, nah, bro. That skybox is beautiful. I'm in love. Nighttime looks great in this game. Look at this. Zubats, hold on. What's that? It's a cricket tune. There's a Zubat, bro. There are Drifloons here! Bro, I thought I was... Yo, I, I was joking. Bro, there's actual Drifloons here. Level 12 Drifloons? Okay, I gotta swap to those Pokemon. I gotta have a Drifloon. I know how shiny Drifloon looks. He's like golden. Oh, no, Star Raptor? Nah, that Star Raptor, my Pokemon is kind of shit right now. I'm not gonna risk it. There's something in that tree. Who fucking in the tree? A Burmy! Aerial Ace. I didn't mean to kill him. Damn. Okay. I, I, I want that Zubat. Come over here, bitch. All right. Hit him with a nice quick attack. Let's not kill him. Perfect. 
No, no, no. Get him with the items. I only got five Pokeballs left. I gotta really reserve them. Nice. You said, man, if this game sells well, I can't imagine how much better this, the sequel is going to be for this game. Bro, look. So far, my honest opinion about this game right now is obviously, graphically, this game is not... It's not, like, there. But content-wise, for, for, for what they could do so far, the game, to me, I'm enjoying the shit out of it. Even though, obviously speaking, if you could think about this game being on another platform, like on an Xbox or on a... Like, if it had the hardware like PlayStation and Xbox could have, think about... This game would have been looking like Horizon Zero Dawn type shit, but with Pokemon. If it was like on a PlayStation or an Xbox, per se. But I know it's Nintendo. It is what it is. There's really nothing that we can't do about it. But so far for what it is, I'm enjoying what it is this is why i would wish that in the future if nintendo was would make a console with with better hardware this shit would have been looking crazy crazy 10 times crazier than it looks right now what's that <laughs> look at how the pokemon's moving When they're farther away, they start moving like Chimchar. Look. Hold on. Bruh. That bitch moving a frame a second. But it makes sense. It makes sense. What up, little dudes? Yo, you know what I want to do? I want to swap my Pokemon out. Oh. I didn't even know this guy was there. How do you swap your Pokemon out? Can I change him? Change name, change moves. Can I change his moves? Nah, that's all he has. You can teleport to the base. Can I actually? How do you teleport to the base? You say Bidoof? No, 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 no. It's not even Bidoof. Like what's scarier, a big ass stutter or a big ass stutter chasing me in five frames? You said big ass star raptor chasing me in five frames? Yo, what's up, Aurora? How you doing? Three out of three caught. Oh, this music right now. Hold on, hold on. You hear this music? Fuck, it went away. That little, that little tiny... Piano was 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 starting to hit. I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I could go up here. I, I'm scared I'm about to run into some bullshit. Geo dude! Hold on. Hit that dude. Hit him with a tackle. Now, nah, Aqua Jet, I don't want it to kill him, though. It's going to kill him, isn't it? Oh, no, it didn't. Perfect. He is too stunned to move. Use the last Pokeball. Go. 
You said, can you trade in this game? I think so. From what I've seen, I think you can with that with that one merchant. Ooh, level nine Geo dude. Okay. Nice. Black tumble stone. So we got some heavy balls. Wait. Where are my heavy balls? Hold on. Do I have heavy balls? Oh. Wait, a ball that is too heavy to fly high or far, but it's highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. You said, so is the game good? So far from what I'm playing in it, I I'm enjoying the shit out of this. Oh. Oh, it's because it's daytime now. So he went away. Damn, that was a waste of a Pokeball, though. The Burmy. All right, I wanted to catch the Burmy, actually. Okay, there's the Agile style and the Strong style. So let's hit him with the... Let's hit him with a Tackle Strong style. Oh, perfect. And it was a crit. Struggle bug? Okay, not... Okay. We gotta get him. Nice. Burn me level 9. Nice. What was that noise? What the hell was that? That's the cricket tune. Okay. More cricket tunes over here. What the hell is that? Yo, hold on. That's going to be that rock Pokemon. The one that looks like a cockroach. Hold up. What's this? Yo, cricket. It's a Geo dude. I might have to hit him from behind. Pause. Hit him with the heavy ball. Let's try that. The heavy balls look. Very. Oh. Okay. Bro. I'm just thinking about this game. Like if this was not on a Nintendo console. I'm like man. Imagine if this shit had like Ghost of Tsushima visuals. Oh my goodness, bro. This shit would have looked crazy. I think that shit would have broke the internet high key like times 10. Bro. Nintendo, please. Your next console, make it graphically. Put good hardware, bro. It, if you make a $500 console, people are still going to buy that shit. People are still going to buy that shit. Stop making affordable consoles. Make consoles that, that are expensive. And that has very good hardware, please. What's this? Is there anybody else here? Is there like a golem around here? You said that's not happening? Yo, that's a lot of G Oh my god. Oh, they're all after me. Yo, I didn't think y'all were going to fight me, bro. I thought you guys were kind.
All right, good. What's this? I mean, if you want to fight, you're going to lose. Like, you're going to lose, my dude. I'm going to hit you with strong style now. Oh, I can't strong style this move. You're done. See? Shouldn't have fought me. Whoa. This, look, this is looking like a shrine. Hello, my love. Am I about to fight a big Pokemon? That's what it looks like right now. My my little ribbon on my back. Um. So even your professor decided to join us. Okay. Thank goodness I got here in time. A Pokemon researcher. I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an alpha. Oh no. He brought his camera. I suppose that is your business. Fine. As long as you stay out of the way. There's lag again. I'm sorry for the lag. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancient blessings by Almighty Sinnoh. Oh, no. No! No way! He gonna be running around making that noise the whole time? Da -la 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 whoop. No way. That's only a troublemaker. Here to disturb the peace with its racket. Yo, this is... That, that sound is scary. And that's what you're here for, Retro. To drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Oh, no. Da -la 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 whoop. Upon my word... What a large specimen. Little wonder alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they are oversized like this one. Exactly. They're not only big though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind did not know. They're not to be trifled with. Let me tell you, nevertheless. I believe you are stronger than this. Be careful, Retro. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. Don't doubt this alpha. It's powerful and a hardly foe. If you must face it, Make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Pokemon whose eyes glow reds are called Alphas. Alpha Pokemon are larger than the others and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Well, we gonna catch it with my, like, eight Pokeballs I have. That bitch is over there waiting for me. Thank God he didn't charge at me, though. Can I craft some stuff? Let me craft some balls. Let me craft some potions, too. Let me craft, like, two revives. Okay. Who can I use? Oh, man, I can use Zazu. Wait, Starly? Wh why is he glowing? Evolve? Zazu, I wanted to evolve you, man. Damn, Zazu. I'm sorry, man. Zazu's too weak. Zazu evolves at 14. Zazu fell off. Fuck Zazu. <laughs> oh, man. Let's evolve Starly. Fuck it. Yo, this new animation style is crazy. What? That evolution looked crazy. Now we got Stonavia. Yo, Staravia, come on. Let's go fuck this guy up. What's poppin', slime? Whoop. 
Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all Pokemon currently battling. This shows you the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns. That's if you press Y. Oh my god. Staravia Cricketune. Bro, hold on. I'm going to have to hit him with a strong style gust. Damn. Staravia, no. Zazu, you bitch. Hold on. We're going to have to keep Zazu out for a bit. Can I catch this guy? Oh, shit. He sounded a little crazy. I don't like that noise. If you hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. I don't understand. Oh, my God. Zazu, I'm sorry I put you out there like that. Zazu hit him with a light quick attack. Oh my god, Zazu, you almost killed him. Bro, he kind of diesel. Bro. Oh, this guy does not want to get caught. What does the heavy ball do? Does it do... Is it better? Oh, my God. I don't think it's better. I don't think it's better. He double hit my shit. Bro, this is bad. This bitch does not want to get caught. I don't want to kill it. I want to catch it. I thought the heavy ball catches Pokemon that are heavy. That's what I thought. They changed up the Pokeballs too. Oh, yes. We got him. Oh, my God. We almost lost everybody in the party. Move mastered. We got him. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best than Alpha like that, it truly reminds me of a legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure that your Pokemon are taken care of after facing off such a foe. I need to make sure I learn moves like Thunder Wave with Shinx. Who? What in the world? Whoa. Whoa, it's Bootleg Stantler. No, as a matter of fact, I said Bootleg Stantler. This is Stantler's, like, wire deer. Stantler's Bootleg. Wait, it's basically Stantler, but as a grandpa. He looks upon you with kindness. I'd say the great wire deer has taken a liking to you. This is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expansions of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable. Truly outstanding stuff. A Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why? It's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor Lavington Retro. She said that once Retro carried out this request, we'd be able to set up a base camp. I know this was a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but still, it is truly fine for us to set up... I mean, is it truly fine for us to set up one more base camps like this? The sewer region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine that you should be allowed to use this land. The great white deer has taken a liking 
to me as well, and that's a good sign. Okay. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come to show my appreciation with a proper word. A. 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 I'm looking forward to it. Yo, chat, I'm excited now. I wonder what she gonna give me. If we want to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to stop fearing them and start getting to know them better. That starts by completing the Pokedex. <laughs> come to my... <laughs> he said, come to my tent later. Plap. I'm dead. Here, okay, here we have it. Our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the here, the height camp. The heights camp. From now on, when you set out to the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your exclusions directly from here. Oh, shit, give me one second. I got a text. Oh, nice work today, everyone. You said head back to Wallflower. I don't want to head back to Wallflower. I wanted to keep on exploring a little bit. Okay. Oh, I've done a lot of stuff for that Pokemon. Oh, I'm almost there. I like this loading screen. It's it's simple, but it's nice. Benny old chum, the usual potato mochi, please. Make it for three today. They got this man, Benny, like a slave. Just making him food. Benny mochis. Have you all heard the grave news that frenzied Cleaver from the rumors it ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks? What? Who went out to investigate it this morning? People died? The medical corps have had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. This is the Cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes? He's been having the most erratic since... Okay, oh my god. Still, if further investigation is in order, the Survey Corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Retro here can handle things just fine, of course. Look at her face. Are you certain? I heard Cleaver so mighty, even Alpha Pokemon don't compare to him. Now, now, you forget that the strength of Pokemon are key items of information that we... Of the survey corps are duty bound um are duty bound to research and since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique i do believe a good night's sleep is in order yes that should sound delicious rattle with the resub for 19 months thank you man Who's your favorite drill rapper out right now? Drill rapper? I mean, I liked Pop Smoke, but rest in peace to Pop. Um, Favio Foreign, I like Favio Foreign. What's this other guy's name? Dusty Locaine? I like him. Um... It's hard to say because there's a lot of rappers that also don't do drill rap, but they've done a drill song. But, I mean, I guess to name a few, those would be it. Busy Banks, I haven't listened to him. I have to listen to some of their stuff. Good morning, Rich. You should hurry up to the commander's office before he decides to use you for sumo practice. You said Chef Benny deserves big overworked. 
No, he deserved being overworked after the prejudice. Yes, he does. Off topic, South Florida might be in the 30s this Sunday morning. Finally, these niggas will understand code. <laughs> Facts. Yo, nothing gets me more mad than a person from like Florida or California saying some shit like, it's finally winter time and they would show their weather and it'd be like 55 degrees. And I'm like, that's it? That's it? That's what you call winter time? 55 degrees? I'm like, bitch, come to New York or go, go to like the higher like states. You know, like we're talking about like Canada. Like, cause I, I ain't gonna lie, Canada's even worse than all that shit. New York, we be hitting like 30s and sometimes 20s and 10s. But Canada over there be like, hey, we're negative freaking, I don't know. Or like in the negatives. It be cold as shit. 55 is summer in New England. Look who's being punctual. Adaman. Finally realizing you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bowing to a sham. Who the frick? Who's this Genshin Impact looking mother effer? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the front of all creation and ruler of space. Space? You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it. Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make of our Hisui space? Bro, t wait, space and time. Why are they talking about space and time, bro? Is he supposed to be like Dialga? Because he got the blue drip. He's completely blued out. He even got a blue crystal. Better than some, it's a miracle you showed up on time. Oh, mighty leader of the Pearl Clan. Okay. I'm worried you get lost in pointless vast space you're so fond of and never show up. Damn, look at her hand gestures. Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan in our world's very basis? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you, Almighty Sinnoh. Forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Komida's office. I believe it was you who started this. Wow. You can feel the tension when those two showed up. You haven't met them, have you? The woman with the reverence for space is Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. And the man who is going on about time, Adaman, the Diamond Clan. The Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan grudging, grudgingly coexist at the moment. Apparently, things used to be less peaceful. But the boss, I mean the commander, is waiting. We should save the conversation for after you report to him. Okay. You said Diamond Clan all day? Bro, I'm throwing D's up all day. I can't lie, though. I like pearls, too. <laughs> Yo, what is this Wurmple's name? Bu oh, my God. It even has his name. Bugene. What's up, Bugene? I thought it wasn't going to put his name on it, but it actually put it. Bugene. I did that to him. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> there are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one would you check? Bothersome Bidoof. It seems that a band of Bothersome Bidoof keep on sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumuji. Playing with Drifling. Wait, I saw something. Something. It says something about kids. Don't tell me Drifling already taking kids. Where's Sumuji? I remember where she's at. Sumuji, where your fine ass? I'm running up to you right now. <laughs> Those damn bidoofs. Okay, girl. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Are right, those pesky Bidoof again. Oh, shit. 
I look away for one second and the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Oh, this is awful. I'm a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Sizui like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Sumuji. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. But still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that the, that these particular pests get easily distracted if one Bidoof is nearby and ends up letting their guard down around humans. So if you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize that chance and catch the little troublemakers. Hmm. Do I use my Bidoof? Add a Bidoof to your team and go find the bothersome, troubling Bidoof. Okay. Where the Bidoof? Where's the Bidoof? Where's the Bidoof? Is there one right here? New request. New request. New request. Hmm. You said the more I look at this game, the more I hate Sword and Shield. Look, Sword and Shield in my... Wait, are these the Pokemon I caught? They are. Look at the Eevee I caught. Is that the Bidoof? Chomp, chomp. Oh, he eat in the gate. Caught it. Great going, team. Oh, so I just got to bring my Bidoof. Okay. He's trying to... He trying to... He trying to break out the other Pokemon like a prison escape. He went right here and he's like, nah, I'm going to break this gate so I can let all the other Bidoof out. The only thing I didn't like about Sword and Shield, I think, was the wide open area, in my opinion. Like, I thought it was okay. I feel like it could have been better. But Sword and Shield overall, you know it's crazy? I didn't even play the DLC. I, I, I heard a lot of people say that the DLC was kind of lackluster. Like, I finished the, the story and I was like, that's it. I didn't even want to cop the DLC. DLC was great. Chomp, chomp. My Bidoof is like, yo, what are you doing, son? Stop biting stuff. You know what, DLC? I wish I could have played, but I just got no time. I feel. The Xenoblade Chronicles 2 DLC. The Torna DLC. That's one DLC that I purchased, and I was like, fuck, I never got to play it. Because the music was so good. Thank God I never paid full retail price for the Doo Water Ice Tea. Fire Masuda, that nigga fell off plus ratio. He said Fire Masuda, he fell off. Whoa, the Shrine Guardian watch all over us. Ew, she look a little creepy. Lucy sells various protective charms that come in handy when you're out exploring the wilds. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of this shrine, who watches over all of Jubilife Village. And you, child, if you're here with a prayer for the shrine, perhaps my charms can help you. Tell me, what is your wish? Lose fewer items, stay in good health. I don't even know what I want. Faint less frequently. I want to stay, I want to lose fewer items, I guess. Or stay in good health. What does lose fewer items mean? 
Because... You said, don't forget the Ghost of Tsushima DLC. Bro, that's another thing. I bought that DLC, pre-ordered it, never got to play it. I got to go to that mountain, dude. I got to go to that mountain. I'm so upset, man. Ghost of Tsushima. You said, when you die, you drop fewer items. Also, I just want to stay in good health then. $500? Take it, bitch. Grandma scamming me at the shrine. Do you have any other wishes? No wishes for me. Come again, child. She probably laughing right now at that shrine. I just scammed this little boy for $500. Where's the last bit of? Where's the last Bidoof? Oh, he was there. I didn't even see him. That was a mistake. He perfectly blended in with the wall. I did not see him. All right, we got this mission done. Nice. Puts the little troublemaker safely in our custody. Now give him the old heave ho. Hold on. It'd be a shame to just send those bidoof back to the wild, no? Retrofin a backlog, Arceus. Play ghost, and when he comes back to Arceus, he gonna hate how Arceus looks, cat. True. I should finish this before I even think about going back to Ghost of Tsushima. I'm gonna play this and finish this fully. Because. Yeah, you said Karen's ancestors. Oh my god. <sighs> It'd be a shame to just send those bidoofs back to the wild. Yo, thank you for the 100 bits. My construction corpse could find use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corpse. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part. To come all the way here to gnaw at our woodwork, too. But if they're going to stay here, they're going to have to help with our work. They've got guts to keep trying to get into the village. Plus, their teeth to gnash through trees and rocks. Just what our corpse need. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know? <laughs> just wait. No, just what I wanted to hear. I'm not convinced this is... No, this lot, I have it in them to do the honest day's work. But if San Kwa's watching over them, I'm sure it'll work out all right. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for your help. Nice. Rare candy? I'm saving that. I'm gonna save that. All right. If a Pokemon starts eyeing me... I'll fling an orange berry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corpse Boy. Uh, I was just headed out to the fields to go gather tumble stones. But I haven't got as many orange berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? They restore HP to Pokemon. Yes, I know that. You want five orange berries? I got eight, you bum. You're going to take my berries? Damn. What am I going to get, though? I'm gratefully... Okay, I gratefully accept Gosh. I can't believe that you just went through the trouble to find these for me. Happy to help. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. A revive? They're giving me a lot of revives. Okay, what's, what's another quest that I have to do before I decide to fully go inside? One all the way in the beginning of the gate... I'm doing all the side quests, or like any side quest I could see. Bidoof, what are you doing? Boo -boo. Mickey. 
A big buizel. Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor says they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see a different size. Ooh. If there really are Buizel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one that I have for comparison's sake. So you want a bigger Buizel. And you're a natural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? Yep, I see where you're going with this. If you catch a Buizel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? Damn, you're trying to replace the tiny one. You don't like the little one you have. You want a bigger one. You're a jerk. I don't even know if this one is bigger. Let's see. How do we know if it's bigger? Level four, level two. Let's try the level two one. Let's see it. One that's at least two point. Okay. All right. Wait, that one wasn't bigger. How, how do I know the sizes? You want a bigger one. He, he says at least two, two point eight. Check the summary. Oh, okay. There's one over here. And when I saw it, this Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was in the evening. The light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherim's um, closed right up. So it looked nothing but like a flower bud. Yeah, I know which one. So you want that? Is that how the evolution works? Or was the change something different? To bloom or not to bloom? Show Kichi the completed Pokedex entry for Cherim's. That's going to be kind of difficult. Because I know Cherim is kind of weird. Cherim looks like a giant. Has like a form where it's just like a giant thingy. Then there's the other floor form when it's like. It opens up. I'm not going in there. Can, can I go back out and like explore? I want to keep catching Pokemon. Please tell me that I could go back outside. Yes! Game doesn't restrict you anymore, really. Thank God. I was like, I was like, I do not want it to, to just force me into story. You know? Okay. This is the part where I want to change my Pokemon. Can I change? And I could rest depending on the time. <coughs> Yo, thank you. Sorry to interrupt the gameplay. Quebec just banned unvaccinated people over 12 years old from buying groceries. Oh my lord. Game looks good though. <laughs> it said what? Quebec just banned unvaccinated people over 12 years old from buying groceries? <laughs> good. Good. Starve. That's what you get for not being vaccinated. Starve. Starve. No water too. No water too. Okay, I'm I'm just walling out. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Nah, definitely. Nah, Quebec Quebec sounds like they're not playing. They're like, nah. Nah, I'm I'm gonna put a rest. How do I swap my Pokemon? Which Pokemon will you... There we go. Okay. Sita Uni Zazu stays in the group. Mono, we're going to have to change these two. Because we already have those Pokemon in. So... I would like... Oh, shit. We could actually have Cricketune? Put his ass in there. And... Let's put a Drifloon in there so we can have like a ghost type. We could be a little bit spooky. We could be a little bit spooky.
You said Krikatoon is big as fuck, you're lying. Let me see. And yet you can be escorted into the store to go to the pharmacy inside, making the rule pointless. Oh my goodness. Go back in your ball right now. Go back in your ball. Nah, bro. That shit is big. Oh my goodness, that shit is big. I've never been so intimidated by a Krikatoon till this game. This Pokemon is big! He's not supposed to be this... Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, now in my head, I'm like... Hey! Bidoofs are so cute. I used to not like Bidoofs before, but now I like Bidoof a lot. Wait a minute, do I even have Pokeballs? Okay, I do. Bye, birdies. I see why a lot of people like Bidoof now. Before, I used to be kind of iffy with Bidoof. Now, I like him. <clears throat> oh! I threw a Pokeball at it. No! I caught the big boy. Let me see him beat this Pokemon's ass. Hit him with that aerial ace. The Starly ran? The Pokemon could run away. So they're not locked into battle. If the Pokemon don't want the smoke, they could leave too. Oh, shit. I mean, that Starly, that was the smartest decision ever. If I saw a Krikatoon that big, I'll run away too. You said Retro will eventually learn about back attacks. Alright, let's do a back attack right now. Let's hit him right in the back. Let's hit him with the aerial ace. You're done. You're done? Jesus. Now I'm scared that if I run into a shiny, it's going to run away. That's the biggest fear now. The thing is, it's like, now I'm starting to think in my head how, how crazy the clips are going to be when somebody finds a shiny. And then when they go up against said shiny and if they don't hit it from the back or if they don't like approach it accordingly, it could just run away. Oh, there's the buizel. Okay, there's a couple buizel here. <clears throat> Damn, that buizel didn't see it coming. He's like, wait, what? Wait, wait, what's going on here? Absorb! Eat his life force! Buizel's too stunned to move. Hit him with a Pokeball. Nice. Okay. So we really got to start hitting him with that back shot. I guess that's why they put so much emphasis on the back shots. Number of large specimens you caught. Oh, so I did catch a bigger one. Okay. Whoa, the tree is moving. Let me get some of this. Ya yeet.
Nice. Nice. Oh, uh, those are just Starlies. All right. Whoa! That's a big ass float cell. I don't know his level though. Oh, I didn't like that noise. Let's see. Let's see what his level is. We're gonna try to be sneaky. What will his level be? Oh shit. Hit him. 31! Yo! Abort the mission! Abort the mission! I'm out! Bro, I didn't know he was gonna be 31. Oh my god. Nah, I'm not fucking with him. 31, dude. I thought he was gonna be at least 15. I mean, at, not at least at max 15. So I'm surprised they let you run. That's what I'm thinking. I think I was just so far away by the time. Who's this? Starly, go away. Mind helping a guy out? I'm after some cherry berries. They're shiny red ones. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree and your Pokemon will grab the berries for you. Okay. Did I get the cherry berries? Yes, I did. Get these missions out of here. Nice. You can throw a cherry berry near a Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not try one of these Krikatots? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. I already caught so many Krikatots. What was that? I just saw something fly. All right, you made a big mistake. Now you're fighting a big-ass bug that's about to just absorb you. You said the rapid dash you saw earlier was 40? Oh, my God. No way. Yeah, so anything with red eyes, just proceed with high caution. I'm going to try to catch a couple Geodudes just so I could get... Um, That one's not going to get caught. That one got actually eaten. Is the Geo dude in the rock? Cause I don't see him. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat him. Oh, he was hiding in the corner. You gotta remember when they actually evolve. I saw it. What? I feel kind of fucked up. I feel like I'm just eating everybody with Krikatoon. Aurora sub... Gift sub begging? Jesus. Aurora? Ah, Kalo Kalo said, wait till September. I'm, 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 I'm about to go to sleep. I'm about to go to sleep. He says September. Damn. That's a hot minute. <laughs> September. All these Geo dudes want the smoke. I'm just absorbing all of them. 
Give me your life force. He dropped a tumble stone. What's up here? Okay, let's see. Oh, this is where the other camp was. I don't know why I just decided to walk here. Let's go up here. What are we going to find beyond this? The birds. The birds. Wow. I hear Geo dudes. Hear Geo dudes still. All right, let's go. <clears throat> Break this rock. Oh, so many of these Pokemon could evolve already. Hold on. Where are my Pokemon? Let's evolve Mono. Mono! Mono's growing up! <coughs> this man, Luxio. And then we're gonna get Zazu up. All right, we're 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 getting places. We're getting some good mons. Yo, so you guys said that Masuda had nothing to do with this game. You know what? If every new Pokemon game comes out and Masuda doesn't touch it, I think this is gonna be better. For the for the for the company. Did Masuda touch black and white? He did touch black and white. Wait a minute. So how the fuck Masuda made black and white so so amazing, and then all these other games are just doo doo. You said because he made his money and then he stopped caring? Ah, that could be an explanation. Like, why? I mean, that does make sense. Whoa, is that a Stantler? It is a Stantler. There's a Stantler. Let's get the Stantler. I'm killing all the Geo dudes, though. Damn, he has the high ground like Anakin. I have the high ground, Anakin. I still win. Oh, shit. He hit my Cricket Tune. He actually did damage to him. Oh, snap. Throw that shit at him real quick. We're going to have to get him. I would like to have a, a Golem. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's go. Let's get that stand. Oh. Motherfucker. Yeah, yeet. Nice. I got a level 14 Stantler, baby. 
Why is he running around so much? Nice. And it's dark now. So, so what special Pokemon pop up at the nighttime? I see some Zubats. What the fuck is that? The monkey, the monkey! Hold on. Yo, Chimchar's second evolution! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yo, I need that monkey. I Oh, the heavy ball. I should have heavy balled him. All right, I need Aqua Jet, but don't kill him. Oh, don't kill him, though. We need the monkey. He's like the only fire type. Nice, 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 nice. That's a big, that's a big Pokemon right now. Nice, 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 nice. We need to put him in the party ASAP Rocky. What do I need to do with him? Number caught. I need to catch way more. Number caught during daylight? Number you've evolved. Times you you seen it use gust. Oh my god, there's so much shit. Oh, well. You said how do you even find it? What? The monkey? Okay, that was the first time I saw it use gust. Let's use strong style aqua jet. Oh. Oh. Can, can I be the monkey? I'm going to call it Kuro then. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Caught the Zubat. Oh, my Oshawa could evolve. Seed is going to evolve. Let's go. I want to be a Jolteon. That's if I get a... I think I have a Clefairy. But to get a Jolteon, you need a Thunderstone. My boy! D-Watt. Got the boy D-Watt in the squad. There's another Stantler over there. Does he like this? Does he like this fruit? Nice. Nice. Oh, I like how he takes his shells off his his stuff. Ah oh, fuck. Yo, there's a lot of Zubats over there. I need those. Damn. He like, he like, what the fuck? The music, I love the music at, at nighttime. It's really nice. And the sky looks fucking beautiful at nighttime, dude. 
Another Stantler. Bro, I'm like on the road. Imagine if Professor, if I was working for Professor Oak. He would have been like, Ash, stop sending so much Pokemon so quickly. Non-stop Mons I'm just catching. It's a bunch of Zubat down there. The Zubat sleeping while it's flying? I've never seen that. That's how they sleep? Zubat was sleeping while it was flying. Look, he's sleeping too. Drifloon hit him. Oh shit, he knows him. Whoa. He knows shit like hypnosis and confusion. Who goes first? Hit him with hypnosis. Of course you missed. Oh shit, double avoid. Hit him with hypnosis. Got him. Put him to sleepy sleep. Times you've seen it use hypnosis once. Okay. There goes the moon. You know what I noticed too? The moon is going to have different phases because earlier when the moon went down, it, it wasn't looking like that. That means that there's going to be very, very, very specific Pokemon coming out in very specific moon phases. I feel it. They're, they're, they're going to be like, this Pokemon only appears during new moons or some shit. Who else is here? More Geodudes. Ah! Hit him with Aqua Jet. Oh, you could throw a Pokeball faster that way. I was doing it the long boomer method. You said Bug Snacks did this better? A A A. I got a big soft spot for Bug Snacks. I love Bug Snacks. As a matter of fact, hold on. Let, let me actually check something. I've been waiting for Fan Gamer to come out with the bunger. Fan Gamer. I've been waiting for the Bug Snacks Bunger to come out forever. Where is the Bunger? Bro, the Bunger, the Bunger has been at coming soon for like six months. I want to buy my Bunger, bro. I want the bu I want to get him at the same time. I want to get the Bunger and I want to get the Strawberry, the Strabby. I got to get both of them. Um... Do they have some new Deltarune shit? I know their Deltarune stuff sells out in like seconds. Bro, that's a bunch of cool shirts of Deltarune. That's a fine, that's a fine keychain. Look at the Birdly. They actually have the pin sets available. Look, they bought all the plushies. Rousey. Hey, hot take. I like black Rousey over Rousey with his hat off. I loved the black version of Rousey. I think he looks way cuter, in my opinion. Um, Damn, a lot of their shit sold out. Definitely. But the black Rousey with his hat on, I think he looked way cuter with the, with the hat on. 
Oh, let's evolve Uni. Damn, Biberol. Big boy Biberol. He got the idea of a new move, Uni. What move did he get? Oh, he got Bite. Not bad. Not bad. He learned Bite. Yo, Geodude. I don't know. Geodude, you want to fight me in my new Bibarol? Let's go. Go, Uni. Use Water Pulse. Damn. You saw that animation? That looked kind of fire. I like that. I like that. Who's in the water? Is that a magic carp in the water? Oh shit. We gotta get the magic carp. Okay, okay. I'm just catching a few more Pokemon after that. We're gonna continue with the missions. Black Tumblestone. You don't have space in your satchel for that item. Huh? That's a Star Raptor. Oh, there's a Graveler. That's a Graveler. What level is that? 17? Ooh. Ooh, that level's a little bit high. All right. Let's use Water Pulse. Does Water Pulse still have the effect of confusion? Oh, my goodness. New move. Bro, I want to catch that Graveler. I want I want the Graveler. But I don't know what level he is. I don't know what level he is. That's the problem. He could, he could fuck up my whole party if he wants to right now. I could use Uni and Sita. But if I run out of those two guys, I could use Krikatoon with Absorb. Whoa, he rolling. He rolling. He rolling. Notice me, bitch. Thank God he's slow. Wait, why is the Bibberol fight? Why is this dumbass Pokemon fighting me too? They're both fighting me. Damn, you don't want me to hit your homie? I'm gonna beat your homie's ass and then I'm gonna make sure I capture you guys. Then I'm gonna. Hmm. This motherfucker, bitch. Hold on. I gotta catch this guy because he's being problematic. He's being extremely po problematic. Like, you are fiending to get caught, Weasel. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. He walking in the grass. Ball of mud. I don't know what this guy likes. Okay. Level 30. Oh, my God. 
It's level 30. I don't know if I can. I made him with water pulse. Oh my god, that don't mean shit. Level 30. <laughs> Yo, come on. Oh my god, this guy's gonna be such a bitch to catch. Not rock slide. I avoided the attack. Yo, you're gonna have to hit him with like. You're gonna have to hit him with something soft. He gonna have to go for a soft hit. Like a tackle. I'm sorry. That didn't do shit. Iron defense. You know what? Perfect. Up, up your stats. Up your stats. Double. I'm dead. Do that on shit in my Pokemon. Fuck. He's enraged. Oh my god. No, my Bibberal. Uni. I'm sorry. Uni. Drifloon, put him to sleep. Drifloon, put him to sleep. Hypnosis, agile style. He avoided the attack. Drifloon, you had one job. All you had to do was put him to sleep. Drifloon, all you had to do was put him to sleep, bro. Are you kidding me? All he had to do was put him to sleep. Thunder Shock, Thunder Fang. Bite. I don't want to kill him. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to catch him. I actually want this mon. I got no more heavy balls. Jesus. Please. Now rock slide again. Bro, is he going to land every rock slide? No way. His stats return to normal? You bum. Okay. You said I got two heavy balls for you? Quick attack. Use another quick attack. Get him in the red. Yes. Bulldoze. Mono. Oh my god, please. I just gotta catch this. How many mons I got? I got two left. Cricketune. Yo, I'm just trying to catch this guy. Please. You're kidding. You're kidding. You're kidding. I think I gotta run. I got no choice. I got no choice. I got no choice. I got no choice. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Bro. All my Drifloon had to do was put him to sleep. Where's the camp? You said you didn't even use me. I could have clutched. Bro. One rock slide and you would have been decimated. No. One rock slide. He was rock sliding everybody, dude. Oh my god, no. 
Run away. Run away. Oh no, run away from the shanks. Bro, am I that far from the camp? No, the music is playing. Bro, you're kidding me? No, 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 run! Run! Is that a Gyarados in the... There's a Gyarados... There's a Gyarados in the freaking sky! No way! Yo, nah. Nah. Hold on. I gotta heal up my Pokemon. Um, They gave me a bunch of revives for a reason. Let me heal my Pokemon up. Fuck it at this point. I'm not gonna find that, that shit. And yet he can't learn fly. I I don't know, man. You said well, that's why Gyarados is a flying type now. Oh my goodness. Okay. Look at the Gyarados! Wait, he's not gonna see me. Yo, that looks nutty. Okay, let's go get that Graveler. Let's go get the Graveler. Round two. I want that Graveler. My Bibro fucked him up too. Yo, you don't want the smoke. Leave me alone, bro. Leave me alone, bro. I'm going after this bitch right here. Go eat your berries. Go eat your berries, bitch. Yup, I'm still going for him. He think he just could he think he could just hit my Pokemon and disrespect me like that? He's too stunned to move. Nah, he's gonna go twice. I'ma bite him. Ooh, critical! Iron defense. Oh my god, you gonna one shot my boy like that? Drifloon! Yo, yo! Put him to sleep! Just put him to sleep! Strong style hypnosis? I don't know, bro. Put him to sleep! Yes! Yo, this is it. This is it. Come on. He has to get caught. Please. How he use rock slide? You're asleep. Wait a minute. 
Wait, you're a s- Whoa, wait a minute! You're asleep! He's drowsy. Bro, there's no way. There's absolutely no way. So, th so they're not actually asleep. This game doesn't want to give me him, bro. You can keep using Iron Defense, dude. He's too drowsy to move. Did I just use Tackle? Oh my god, bro. I, I got him like... He's too drowsy to move. Please. Please, bro. He's at the brink of death. I got six balls left. Yes! 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 Fat W. Oh my god, bro. He tried to... Where's that... This shit. It's used as a material for crafting. Oh, I thought that was revived straight off rip. I need. Wait, I can't make this. Your satchel is full of other items. What other items? What is it full of? So let's so let's make some Pokeballs. Let's make 26, 25 Pokeballs. Make 25. Let's make some potions. One potion. Now let's make some revives. Nice. Bring the boys back. Uni is going to be very important. Drifloon did his job. Drifloon did his job. Nice. Oh my god, I cannot believe I just caught that bitch. It won't obey you until you get another star. That's fine. I'm, I'm going to keep him in the shits. How you still going to fight me when I just beat up your dad? Right in front of you, I beat up your dad too. I caught your dad. Yo, that Bibberol almost one shot at him. <clears throat> Bug Wart. Let's go. Whoa. What's with this rock? Huh? Hello? Hello? There's something in here. It's gonna be like an Onyx or a Steelix. There's some crazy shit in here. Yo, why is my satchel so small? Where am I? Oh, there's no matchups in here! <laughs> Yo! Yo, little matchups. My boys, I gotta I gotta get a machamp. Hit with the water pulse. I gotta, I gotta get this my champ. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. What the hell? Wait, I don't have space for this in my satchel. What is up with this little satchel that I have? They're like, there's so much items in my satchel. Everyday items. Like, I gotta make them. I gotta make shit out of it. Sky Tumblestone. Black Tumblestone. Is he just... Oh, oh, bro, 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 chill. Bro, I will body you. Hit him with a quick aerial ace. You don't want the smoke. You don't want the smoke. Nice. Let's go. Black Tumblestone. Black Tumblestone. All right, what are we gonna find this find in this cave? Iron chunk. I need apricorns. I got so much black tumblestones, but no apricorns. I'm kind of scared, bro. I'm kind of scared. What am I? Is that like a great tree? Oh my god, look at that go bat! Bro, that looks like the great tree from Xenoblade 2. Am I about to see some pirate titties? Yo, that go bat's mouth. He better close it. Yeah, he got red eyes. Oh, no. I'm kind of scared, man. I don't think I have a Pokemon ready for him. I got Mono. But I don't think if I don't think Mono's ready for his ass. Level 15 Drifloon. Okay. Number caught at night. Bro, I don't know if I could survive this guy. He ate it, so he likes that. Oh, the Lapanese are down there. The Baneris. Oh shit, chat's favorite part. Look, the lop the Baneries are down there. Facts, I'm gonna uh, I should do that like after if I if I manage to get this guy. Yeah yeet. Okay, we're gonna have to hit him with some thunder. What level? 35? Okay, not too bad. Hit him with a thunder fang. No, thunder shock. He's gonna hit me twice. 40 accuracy, 65. May also leave 
with paralysis. 40 to 65. And if I use strong style... Fuck it, strong style. Oh, that didn't do shit. All right, hit him with another paralysis. Try to para paralysis. He needs to get paralyzed. Oh my god, that cross poison was too strong. No. That, that electricity didn't do shit to him. Drifloon, it's your time. Put him to sleep. Put him to sleep! Oh my god, he ruined him. Bro, I'm gonna have to like, two fainted. The, the move never misses. I just need to weaken him enough. Air slash. Dude. Oh, yeah. He's one-shotting everybody. Okay. 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 He went asleep? That didn't do anything to him. Oh my god. But he's sleepy though. I'm gonna throw him out and I'm gonna throw a Pokeball. I'm gonna throw one singular Pokeball at him. Maybe, 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 maybe. Please. I'm running. I'm sorry. Oh, you can just straight up leave your Pokemon and run away. I didn't know that. I was about to leave Zazu. <laughs> I was about to go like this. <laughs> Zazu would have looked back at me on some shit like, this is Zazu in the battle. Bitch! <laughs> you leaving me? I'm just in the cave already. <sighs> like, how could you do this to me? Wait, heavy balls. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get rid of something. Seed of mastery. I don't know what that is. Um, Stardust. I think I could sell this at the store to get more shit. Creating an opening. I don't know what that is. Man, he, he, he was one shot in everybody. Five of this. Go back to the crafting. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, we can make some heavy balls now. Make five heavy balls. Nice. All right, let's see if we could go... A oh, no, we don't want to... We don't want to fall. Let's go around him. Oh my god. He looks so scary. Oh shit. There goes the Luxios. Mm -hmm. 
Dad! Papa? Hello? Oh shit, that's a Luxio over there. Wait, why did the heavy ball- Why did the heavy ball- Wait. Wait, what is the point of the heavy ball? The heavy ball just, sla just slapped his ass. It literally, it's literally a heavy ball. Wait, so how close do I have to be to hit him with it? Very close? Bro, how do you see me? You said it's heavier, but it has a higher catch rate. Wait a minute. Where did the, um... Where did the Zubat go? Does he only come out at nighttime? Stay in that ball. Stay. Thank you. This Luxio's over here still fiending. Yeah, so I think the gold bat only comes out at night because I do not see him there anymore. Still didn't catch him? What in the name of Davy Jones locker? Bruh, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bruh. I don't know what you just said, but okay. That bitch just want to fight. He do not want to get caught. Am I bugging flying type? What's my typing? What is Cricketune's typing? Is he bugging flying? Bugging flying. Okay. I'm surprised he didn't use an electric attack on me. Don't matter. Just bug. I thought it was pure bug. Water pulse. That move does a lot of damage. Get him out of here. You don't want to get caught? Now you die. That's it. You don't want to get caught on good on good terms. Now you die. That's it. I'll find another one.
Okay, this is a whole new area. Um, there's so much to explore in this game. Bro, we gotta make potions. We got no potions. We need orange berries and medicinal leeks. You hear this music? It's from the other Pokemon game. Bro, this is a throwback. Oh, combies. Combies, combies, combies. his back lights up nice combi level 15 wait but that's a boy combi we need the girl we need to get Vep vespa queen nah these are boys where the girls at where the girls at where the girls at Oh, you bitch. I know Vespa Queen is going to be a leader, dude. She's going to be like a really big ass Pokemon that we're going to have to fight. Orin Berries, I needed that. Scyther, bro! They got Scythers in here! I gotta get rid of this combi. It's annoying. Yeah, man. Can we get? A, can we try to get a scissor in here? The music is so fucking nostalgic. It's so nostalgic. I love the music. Nice. Level 16, Scyther. Citrus berry. New berries? Wait, this area just closes off like this? Nah. I think something happens here at nighttime. This area at nighttime, there must be some bullshit ass um, alpha Pokemon here in the dark. We need to find a girl, a girl Vespa Queen. I mean, a girl Combi. That's not even a girl, that's a dude. Where the girls at? That's a girl right there! That's a girl right there. Don't leave. There's a girl right there. Well, the, them little bitches using Blizzard. I'm not bothering you. You bitch. I got one citrus berry. I don't want to use up my one citrus berry.
I caught your queen, bitch. I caught her. Oh, fuck. I was joking. That's another binary. I'm battling no Pokemon. I have the high ground, Anakin. You bitch, she ran away. Damn, she dug on the ground. Bro, I'm running out of like resources. The, the Lapani is stuck on the tree trying to get the food. It's stuck in the tree. The Lopany is in the tree. You bitch are stuck in the tree. I'll kill you. Oh no, she's gone. I was about to put her out of her misery. What is that? It's not even a girl, bro. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. You said hoes before bros, now I guess. Nah, because the boy combies are useless. They are useless. The valuable ones is is the girls. Is that a Psyduck? What is this? Where am I at? Look at this tree. Hold on, before I before I go there, what the hell is here? Let me get the side hug. Oh, sir. Yo, he's chasing me. You sure you want to do that, sir? You sure you want to do that? All right, bro. You sure you want to do that? Oh, he's weak, actually. Well, nice. That side hook is sleeping. Let's get him. He's sleeping. Hear the music? Number of heavy specimens. So he's a so he was a fat one. He was a chunky monkey. Psyduck and Lapani talking at the bottom. I gotta collect these resources real quick. I can't grab any of these? Damn. I think I should go back to base. I can't make anything.
iron chunks. I'm kind of scared of... Oh, shit. We're in the water. Oh, my God. That beautiful ass. Jesus. That's beautiful. Iron back tongue. Bark tongue, excuse me. I said back tongue. Sonic looks so pepega. Yo, Lopunny is kind of hard to catch. I, I pray to God I do not find a shiny one. Oh, look at the beauty fly. Look at the beauty fly. And the dust ox. Wait, where'd the beauty fly go? It turned to a dust ox? Wait, that's impossible. Oh, damn it. He wants to smoke. He's only level 14. Okay. That was never a beauty fly. There was! Okay, that was perfect, actually. And now put him to sleep. Beautiful. That's what I'm talking about, Drifloon. You said that was never one? Y'all making me sound crazy. Nice. We got dust stocks. That's a big ass boy too. I'm about to go back to the professor like, look what I found. What the fuck? Bro, this place is so big. There's so much dust stocks here. You said it's been five hours. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. No, it hasn't, bro. It has not been five hours. Don't tell me that. I have the high ground, Anakin. Well. That was a good hit. All right. Zubat used Gus. That's good. We needed that. I keep forgetting to just do it this way. Whoa. You said it's real-time sunsets in the game? No, I don't think it's real-time sunsets. The game has, like, day and night cycles similar to, like, Ocarina of Time, in my opinion. Dazzling Honey. Ooh. Whoa. What's at the beach? 
Somebody get this man. Kill him. Oh shit. He's not affected to that. Oh god. I keep forgetting he's not a ground type. He's a rock type. There's a difference between rock and ground. How's the game so far? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. It's going to be... I'm going to keep it a stack. It might be really hard for me to, to like, you know, to not play it, to not not play it off stream. What's at the beach? There's Biruf at the beach. There's Zubats at the beach. Bro, I'm raising up my Pokemon like... You said play it off stream too? A part of me wants to do that, but then a part of me doesn't because it's like this game is such a new experience and I've also stayed away from spoilers so hard in my honest opinion i feel like it's going to be like a very refreshing thing to stream you know i'm killing all these zubats because i know it's part of like the missions i gotta i gotta start killing some of these pokemon they want you to catch them but they also want you to kill them I love the effect of the thunder. The thunder moves in this game look so good. Like, re remember when we were fighting that big gold bat? Seeing that shit get thunder jolted looks so good. Whoa, Bibberol. Big ass Bibberol. I don't think I have moves that's going to be weak to that bib roll, though. Dust. What is that? I don't know if I want to fight this guy. This guy looking a little bit. He looking a little bit sussy. All right, more apricorn. That's a big boy over there. Oh, there's a bunch of little ones over here too. But I guess that's the big cream of the crop. I don't have enough heals. That's the problem. I don't have enough heals. And I don't even think I can make any. Yeah. I need some medicinal leaks. How strong is this guy anyway? Fight him. No balls. You know what? I'm about to fight him. Wait. He don't look that angry. I'm lying. He looks angry. make him sleepy oh my god you always miss oh my god you always miss oh he's done he's done he's done he has icy wind 
he has icy wind. You say he's hella weak? Hey, I'm not trying to kill him though. That's the thing. Oh my god, and I and I just sent him out while he has icy wind. I'm gonna go for a strong absorb. He's gonna use icy wind. Oh my god. It's the battle of the titans. It's the battle of the... No! No! Aaron! <laughs> oh, fuck. Thunderfang! I didn't want to kill him! Damn, I killed the biggest boy. <laughs> I don't want to fucking kill him. I don't want to kill him. Just another day at the survey corpse. Oh, man. It's like they want to get caught the way they approach me. Bidoof's approach me so funny. That's a big boy. Is he sleeping? He was just sitting down. All right, we got to get back. We got to upgrade our materials. Like, we got to upgrade our bags, everything. I feel like we have so much Pokemon that we've already caught that if we show it off to the professor, he might get a heart attack. Yo, come on, don't fight me. I'm not in the mood right now. Oh, wait, wait. <gasps> It's a Paris. I want him. Oh, I suck balls. I suck. I suck. I suck. I suck. I keep forgetting the range is so short. The range is very short. You said, bro, I think that's shiny. It looks shiny. It does look shiny. I I'm not even going to hold you, but I, I don't think it's shiny, though. He's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck hit me? Nice. Yo, that Paris looks so high definition. Why is that Paris HD like that? I've never seen Paris look that high quality. It's kind of freaking me out.
Bro, he jumps. Thank God I, I, I have the arm of a Dominican baseball pitcher. I don't have that much materials to throw around so they can eat. At least I got one Paris. You know what? Let me actually battle this one so I can, like, get him. Paris's eyes look so HD. It's level 9. Why are they so weak around here? Nice. You said hella Paris here? Yeah, there's probably a Parasect somewhere around here. There's a lot of mushrooms here, too. Ooh, sword, sword cap. This place is so big. Is this everything that I've explored so far? I'm on the other side of the mountain where the camp is at. My god, and this is only one area because I think there's like three or more. I think there's like three or four other areas. Jesus. Oh, we're back to the cricket tunes. Another one? There's another one? I didn't think there was going to be another one. Bro, I don't think I don't think my shit is strong enough. Can you catch the Pokémon? The the Pokémon with the red eyes. Do you always have to battle them or is there an actual very slight possibility that you can catch them without engaging in battle? You say you can, but it's very low. Mm. And there's something in that tree. B Bitch. The way that bitch started running, he was like, wait a goddamn minute. Okay. I want to catch him. Oh, shit. He looking around hella hard. I'm bugging out. I'm not even standing... He's just making noise. What is he doing? Yep. 
level 30. This one is way stronger than the one that we fought last time. And now he gonna body my freaking boy. He's way stronger than the last one. Oh, shit, I just remember half my party is dead. Oh, this is not good. Wait, Zazu. Yo, Zazu, do not kill him. You know what? There's no way that he's going to kill him. Strong style. There's no way you're going to kill him, Zazu. Nice. All right, we might have to go. All these Pokemon to start off level 30. Oh. Oh, nah. He triple enraged. I'm out. Yo, Zazu, see you later. Yuni! Sita! All right, we got to... We gotta go. There's gotta be a way that, that we can like teleport back to camp. Is this the way? Thank you. This game has quick travel. Thank you. Oh my goodness, I'm sleeping. As a matter of fact, no, let's, let's leave. Let's actually leave. This game has quick travel. You say you leave your children like that? Children? <laughs> children? Your Pokemon catching efforts are quite clearly bearing fruit. How about a report then? Damn. Not bad. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex. Nice. Return to the village. All right. We got to upgrade our bag 100% because we're, we're constantly getting limited. What's up, mama? I have some new styles in stock. Yo. Yo. That's all I got to hear. Oh, you can have a Shinx mask. Don't tell me those are the only new things you had in the shop. Are you kidding me? Oh, you suck. Is it because I, I got like all their stats in the Pokedex or something? Fancy kimono. Fancy bottom. The Oshawa bottoms? Bro, we need better clothes. How do you walk in these sandals? These look terrible. I'd rather walk around barefoot than wear these shits. Mm -mm. Bjorgin, Bugina.
Okay. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can now use feather balls. What? Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey you. Further recipes, please. Feather balls. Sky tumble stone. Super potions. Okay. Now, the, also, the other question is, um, is how do I expend my bag? You said now you can use the Graveler? I don't care about the Graveler. I need my bag expanded. How do I expand my... Cynical eaten. You said talk to the dude nearest to the entrance. Him? Let's check upstairs. Oh, there's a person there we could talk to. What up, Evie? What up, my queen? So fine. Pickling stone? I need to be at the right size to fit on top of my pickle pots. I think I have one. Uh, do I have one? I do. Wait. Catch a Geodude and give it to her. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? She probably said where she was and I just clicked past it. Oh, well. I run into her again. Oh, I forgot. They've been up there waiting and talking the whole time for my ass. What do you intend to do about the cleaver, Commander Kamado? He may be descended from the warrior of almighty, but look at the mess he's causing. Time wasted is lost. True. That's my point. My plan can't intervene directly where a Lord of the Pearls clan concern. But even folk of the Galaxy teams have been wounded, haven't they? Shit. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own... Let me see. One of its own honored nobles. I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. I see you have arrived. Ha! This is Retro, the newest member of our survey corps. I hear from Maya that you earned White Deer's favor. Good to finally meet you, strange. I'm a stranger from the Rift. Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan. But that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. You came from beyond the space-time Rift? Could you be from the space where the almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? My man with the sub. Thank you for the four months. Thank you, man. What's your name? I'm going to call you H-E-Z. What is it? Hexef? Thank you, Hexef. A 
Arita, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight on my watchwords. What does that mean? Did you really have passed through the rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding... <laughs> Let's send the new guy to fight this crazy dangerous Pokemon. Then we'll decide what we do. If he dies, then we know we got a problem. You'd send this stranger who fell... Who supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver. This newcomer with no experience. Says the leader with almost no experience. Yo, this man, Adamant is crazy. Adamant is coming at this coming at this girl like crazy, bro. Adamant, what, what's the problem here? Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give this kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try it your way. This should be fun. I get to see how good you Galaxy folks really are with all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made... He's so vast, so Pokemon can live freely throughout. You guess this sounding black and white Pokemon game wannabe? Shut up. Pokemon are meant to live in my Pokeballs and be my slaves. Weren't meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that um, we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Retro. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. They're putting a lot of pressure on me when I'm literally doing a million times better than all of them. I bet you nobody in this town owns a Pokemon. I own like 30 plus Pokemon already. I could literally kill everybody in town with my army of Pokemon and I could just take over and say I'm the new leader. I could have right now an army of Bidoofs and destroy the whole town. And then rebuild it with a big statue of me. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, Cleaver, is descendant from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hisui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our, relation, our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans. Understand? Oh shit, baby girl in the back. Join me downstairs, Retro. We'll cover the details of the, of the new mission. Look at me, right? I'm the captain now. That's what I'm about to do to everybody. Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Retro, I understand that you've been requested to find out the cause of the Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you are aware now, Cleaver is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems that he's a far trickier opponent than even the, those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled i like to be perfectly clear on this point this mission will put you in extreme danger do you believe you can handle it bro i ran into a gold bat i ran into a graveler i ran into a giant bug saying in delele whoop i think i think i'm okay 
very well then. Let's go over the particulars. The Diamond and the Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe that these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations that they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Retro, we need to speak to you. Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects to this world to another world. That world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. That one that rules over time. So if you fell from the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I got a favor to ask you, oh amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver, quell his frenzy. Well, you certainly called us at a good time, young Adman. We were just discussing our next steps with regarding this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now, let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, War um, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those of the Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem in our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there certain, now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. Bro, I think I passed that area. You're talking about that big tree? The boy named Lian. Lian is brilliant, child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be binding, you know? He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver. Whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. Nice. And we were just there. He's Okay, he certainly left quickly once he'd finished talking. I suppose he really values his time. Adamant and mine weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, best to start by visiting his abode. Our new high camp would be handy uh, would be a handy place for setting up uh, towards the Grand Tree Arena and you should stop by the Pacers too you want to choose the best Pokemon to bring yes 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 I gotta get the best Pokemon you said how do you get the mask yo close that mouth finding yourself unable to pick the materials you come across satchel always seeming full yes if that sounds like you it'd be wise to let me your ear a moment to hear what I have to say you hairy mama. It's him. What you got? Teach me. Yes. $100 ain't shit. Now lend me your ear for a moment. That's it? Teach me. Yes. Yes! Teach me! Yes! Teach me! Oh, 500. Keep on expanding. All right, buddy, you you starting to you starting to you starting to increase that price a little bit there, man. 
You're starting to... You're okay. Keep it at that price. Bro. Two grand? Yo! Never mind, dude. God damn, bro. I need a I need a freaking, you know. Wait, not bad. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10. He gave me 10 spaces. 10 spaces, that's going to make a difference. That's going to make a difference. Not too bad. He said he only increased one slot every time, by the way. Uh, it's predictable. It's predictable. It's not too bad. Wasn't there some people that I had to do missions for? I'd be very grateful if you try to craft something on uh, using a special recipe I came up with. Pokey, po poke she dolls. Poke she dolls. Yo, that's the sky ball. That shit looks awesome. Where's the poke she? Huh? wooden toy bro can I change my hair Oh. Oh. Can I see it? Yo, I could look like Connie. Bro, this is clean. You could have. Yo, that's fire. I like that. It's just the fact that we got inclusion, bro. The messy ponytail. Bro. Bro, I'm going to look like Connie. I look like a straight girl with this. We're going to look like Connie. I could change my eyebrows too. Yup. Let me look like Connie. Just shave my shit. Get it off. Get it out. <laughs> I look like that one guy from Haikyuu. That that one guy in the Haikyuu team, the one that every time somebody comes up and says some dumb shit, 
he he gets mad and he tries to fight Tanaka. I think so. I I, I started watching High Q whenever I, I work out at the gym at, when I'm on the treadmill. I love that show. It's so fucking funny. Shall I fetch your hat for you to wear? Yes. I'll wear it. You said Haikyuu the best, the best sport anime? I mean, I see why it is. Like, I'm honestly in love with the show. I think it's fucking awesome. Um, I forgot there was a mission that I had to do. I think I had to make something. How far are you into it? I'm five. I'm about, I'm like six hours into the game. Hey, it's Cynthia again. I certainly hope that you're putting that secret back strike technique I taught you to good use. Shit. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Should have seen what I did to that Paris. 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 Let's continue. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment uh, for my own fortunes. <laughs> Everyone in the chat like, hey, yo. Three super potions. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling out to me. And you know what's great about this game? The loading times aren't too long. Like, whenever we have loading times, it's not, like, painful loading times. Like, 20 seconds type shit. 15 seconds type shit. It's, like, roughly about 4 or 5 seconds. I hear there are Pokemon that you can only spot at night, and sometimes they'll appear uh, quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. Uh, I needed to swap out some Pokemon, though. How do I swap my Pokemon out? Wait, my hair doesn't look like this. Bro, I look like Connie. You said the dude? Him? <coughs> oh my god. I think it's I want to see my Pokemon. Yes. Um. Yo, why is this image of Paris so high quality? It's just something about it. It's so HD. I've never seen Paris look this good. Can I release some Pokemon? Dead ass. I got so many of the same Pokemon. Wait, what? Why are you guys' mouths open? You act like I killed them. I released them. I released them, Chad, and kill them. You know what? I want a Scyther, but then my question is, can Scyther evolve? You grilled him. Oh, what about the Monferno, bro? Yo, nah, we need him. He's like the only fire type in our party. Drifloon, I'm sorry. We're going to have to put the Monferno in. We need the monkey. We need the monkey. Monkey! Let's go, monkey. Sweet. 
Swift. Return to Monkey. Damn, double Geo, dude. Am I fighting two at the same time? This guy's just watching. He double battle. I am. Big boy, ready to absorb. Give me your soul. Who's the next one? You want some next? Give me that soul. You should have just left, bro. He should have just left. Now he got eaten. He got decimated, destroyed. I almost died from that little hop. I wanted to see I wanted to see how far I could jump. Jesus Christ, I almost broke my legs. <laughs> God damn, look at the parasect. Monkey. Monkey, we need you now more than ever. Throw a berry to distract it. We need the monkey. We need monkey. I don't know what he likes, though. That's the problem. Ya yeet! Bad throw. Actual bad throw. <gasps> Oh shit! Paris, what did I do to you? What did I do to you? Bro, there's a whole nest of Paris here! I'll kill them all then! No more bugs! No more bugs in the Hasui region, I'll kill you all! You bitches! Y'all gonna jump me now? Now nah, where you going, bro? You dying too! They're all dying! Critical hit! I gotta kill this one too. Oh, look at him. My man looking sleepy. Smack him. Wait, where the periscope? There it is. Oh, oh! 
You bitch, I thought he was gonna charge on top of me. Okay. Level 32? Oh my god, they're all level 30. Burn his ass. Uh, and he's burned. Oh, this is bad. He about to die then. Oh, he hit him with Spore. Oh, he drowsy. Bro, you're burned. Hopefully he gets caught. First ball, baby. First ball. Nice. Nice. Ah! Freaking Geo, dude. Much punch. Yo. Whoa, fire monkey. Throw a Pokeball at him. You found a shiny Geo, dude? That's nice. I can't wait till I find my shiny. Not I'm not like like desperately looking for one, but if I find one, it is what it is. It's gonna be cool. Nice. Look at that Paris. I see you, bitch. Get him out. There's so much Paris here. I told you I'm killing I'm calling I'm killing all y'all. Y'all all dying. When you see them when you see them as a shiny, do they actually pop up with sparkles or do they just pop up as like Pokemon? But just a different color like do you can you actually differentiate like you could tell from a distance like yo that's a shiny you said it's a special sound oh okay There's so much Paris here. My monkey's doing so well. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do in this game. That's one thing I do like about it. Games that have, like, a lot of content. Like, oh, shit. Like, you know, things like Ghost of Tsushima, when there was a lot of side quests, this game has a lot of that shit, too, which I like. You said where he got the monkey? Bro, I don't even remember where I got it. I was on top of a hill, and I saw him sleeping. The monkey was literally sleeping on top of a hill, and then I just found him. Uh, do I have heals? Oh, it's nighttime. Use my damn super potion on my monk E. Uh, 
that's a cricket tune. I have the high ground, Anakin. Nice burn. Oh, and of course you one-shot hypnosis me, and then you're gonna use what, Gust? Oh, hurt by the burn? And he bit me. Nice. I'm too drowsy to move. Punched them so hard. Nice. How's the game so far? Uh Hold on. Game so far might be might be one of the best switch games that came out so far this year this year like 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 this game could be a game of the year contender like you know how the game awards has like games best game of da da da, da. this might be a game of the year type of game easily could be a game of the year contender And you said the year just started, though? Nah, you already know how it is, usually when it comes to game of the years. Yo, if I find a shiny Zubat, I'm gonna laugh, dude. Imagine just a green Zubat. That'd be so fire. You said, I mean, there's still Kirby on the table. Bro, that Kirby game? I don't know, man. I hope the Kirby game does well. I hope I hope the Kirby game is not dookie. I have the high ground, Anakin. You said Elden Ring. Elden Ring is gonna be heat, and I know, and I know I'm gonna have to cop that game just because I've already completed a Dark Souls game. So looking forward to like the fighting style of that game and the fuckery I'm gonna run into. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Like I want to cop that game when it first comes out. The Elden Ring shit. Like it has to be a day one game that everybody plays. Wait a minute, where's my objective again? What's this over here? Let's go over there. Oh, that I love that about the map. The map is so great. Hey, that's a baby cricket tune. Hey Oh! Yo, he hit me and just started running. Straight up hit and run. Hey! Nah, bro, don't leave. He hit and run. That motherfucker really from the hood. Is that an Abra? Hold up. I want... No, he teleported! No, he came back! No. He has to come back. That bitch dipped. Fuck, man. I wanted an Abra so bad. 
I'd have been, I'd have been flexing out here with an Alakazam or some shit. Damn, yeah, he did. Let me get this item right here. I think it belongs to somebody. Nice. Burmy. Nice. Okay. Let me see if that Abra is going to respawn. All right. Let me get this shit off the map. So now I know over here, Abras are here. Can I put like a marker here for like a Pokemon that I want to get? Yeah, there's a Pokemon here I want to get. So the Abra's just not going to respawn. That bitch is rare. That bitch saw me. And he saw me from very far away too. Like I was on the rocks running and he saw me. He was like, I'm out. You said, how big is the map? Look how big this map is. Hold on. The map is like this big. Plus this area over here. And I think this is only considered as one of the maps. This map is fucking gigantic. And there's like, I think like three or four other ones that are like this. This is only area one. This game is huge. That was like one of the big selling points for me. When I saw the, the latest trailer that came out before this game released. And they showed how big the map was. And then when they showed the map like zoomed out. And that there were other regions. I was like, oh no, I gotta cop this. I thought it was just one little area. And I was like, oh no, it's, it's big. This game got areas. Oh, nah. I could kill that bitch. Hold on. I could potentially get her. The, the problem is I don't know the level. Nice. Well, I missed completely. I missed completely. No. No, please, I'm just a child. I'm bald. Oh, shit, I thought that was like a fireball. Bro, are you going to fight me now? All right, you want to die so bad? Come on. Get him out. Get him out of here. Mind your own business. Mind your own business, Buizo. You gotta stop looking at me. Turn around. There you go. Gotcha, bitch. What level is it? 32? That shit gonna hurt. That shit is actually strong. Oh shit. Agile stop. Roost? Roost? Oh shit. That bitch gonna heal? Double edge? Recoil? Oh yes sir. He got hit with recoil. I'm like, hello? Fuck. Oh, I got rid of my Drifloon. Oh, no. I can't put him to sleep. You said one shot? Of course he going one shot. Motherfucker did double edge. 
Motherfucker did double edge. Why would he not one shot? Oh, no, I burned it. He's dead. Damn. Oh, no, but he roosted. He's going to use double edge again. Double roost? Oh, he don't want to die. I don't blame him. Weird move to use. I'm just going to punch him. Oh, shit. It actually worked. Oh, he's spamming roost. Another mock punch. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. You killed yourself. You idiot. You killed yourself. You killed yourself, bro. You killed yourself. You said took out three of my mons, though? That don't matter. Guess what? Oh, I have to make this. Oh. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. Make five of those. Make... F oh, that was that would have been the perfect Pokeball for that. Oh, my goodness. Actually. That would have been the perfect fucking Pokeball for that. Nipple Pokemon? Yes, nipple Pokemon. I like some of my nipples. Anyway, let's continue. Um... Sorry to cut from the gameplay, but Chris Brown is trending. Why is Chris Brown trending? Why don't you tell me why Chris Brown is trending? Chris Brown is being sued for allegedly doing something inappropriate to a woman on a yacht during, um, on a yacht parked at Diddy's home. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to come out with some proof. We got to come out. Where the proof at? Where the proof at? And then the first comment I saw is, why are you suing? Why aren't you pressing charges? And I'm like, hey, man, we don't we don't know, man. We We don't know. But then you know what I don't like, though, is that Chris Brown... 100% is an easy target for this type of shit. Because you already know, everybody, there's already a group of people that are still hating on Chris Brown because of the shit that happened like 10 plus years ago. So people are instantly going to rally against him because because of his past. But we got to see, we got to see what is the story. Oh, the Abra, the Abra. I don't know what the Abra likes to eat. Did he see me? No. Oh my god. No. No. How did he break out? Oh my god, bro. I literally had him with the food. Yo, catching Abra is going to be a bitch. Why is Krikatoon moving like that? You 
You said just like the good old days? Use the feather ball. True, I should have used the feather ball. That's true. I keep forgetting that I have that ball. the abras where are the abras nah great balls i don't need great balls i know i can catch them with what i got all right where's the objective that we have to go to because i'm literally just like there we go it's over here all right, let's go. Let's head over there. Who is that? Oh, it's you. Why would Abra's be down there, though? Geo, dude. Oh, dude, get off me. You said trust nobody nowadays. Why? Are you talking about in terms of what happened to the Chris Brown situation? I feel like honestly, man, if 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 you're if you're famous to the point of like a movie star or like a rapper, I feel like any any girl you interact with or whatever, you got to make them sign a bunch of shit. You got to be like, "Bro, Like, I feel like everything has to get recorded on God. Like, any girl you hang out with, you got to have, like, a camera crew with you. Be like, nah, I'm recording everything because if you come out three years from now claiming some bullshit, I got everything recorded. You say, yeah, or wear a wire? Who saw me? You're such a bitch, bro. I'm trying to get this Abra, and then you're cock-blocking me from getting my Abra. Now you're about to get literally swallowed alive by this big-ass cricket tune. You say you gotta install a camera in your glasses? Man... I don't like that noise that it makes, bro. That shit is scary as fuck. Where is he? Okay, that got a catch. Feather ball. Yes. Yes. I got my boy. <coughs> Number that you caught without being spotted. Perfect. I wanted to get the Abra so bad. Bro, what is that cute-ass emote that you have? The one with the child? Emerald? That is the cutest emote ever. I love it. It's so fucking cute. Oh, shit. His big-ass self is over here, too. I forgot. There's another one. And my monkey's dead. Not good. Not good at all. Nah, I'm I'm not I'm not gonna fight him. I want to fight him though. I want to have another one, but fuck it. Let's just reroute. Yeah, 
You said Crony was playing Sonic Adventure 2 the other day. Sonic Adventure 2. I'm gonna have to go up here and then and then go down the opposite way because I feel like I went the wrong way. Okay, yeah. Let's go here. Wait, can I sleep in the tent and, and I restore my health? Just a little while. Beautiful. Beautiful. You said we need to find the cleaver. Yes, yes, yes. It's so hard to play this game with just a linear mentality of like, let me do the objectives. Let me just do the story. When there's so much shit around you, you just want to explore. You just want to explore with this game. Like, I don't want to, like, I don't want to do the shit. It's over there. That big ass tree. All right, let's go. Was it the parasect down there? Yeah, I caught that boy. I caught him. <coughs> the Deku tree. Yes. Give me the black tumble stones. Bro, let me find a green Zubat, please. Bless me with a green Zubat. I would love a shiny Zubat. You said I've been coughing a lot, bruh. I don't know, man. I think somebody in the chat gave me COVID. Me and Zazu was chilling a lot last week. Zazu, what did you do? You gave me something? I don't know, Zazu. I've only been talking to you and VC for like all of Discord, man. I don't know. What do you do to me, Zazu? I don't like that big body of water. I don't like it. Don't worry, Pokemon. I'm not going to hit y'all. Give me that. Give me that. What up, Zubat? That's a Star Raptor. Excuse you? You said retro kissing the homies? Blow. Bro, in Discord chat, we always blow each other kisses. What are you talking about? How am I supposed to get across this water? Oh, I gotta go down there. Now I remember. Zubat, leave me alone. Bro, I just killed one of your homies, and you're gonna still keep coming after me? You wanna fight too? Thunder shock and I'm out. Goodbye. I like how you could just walk away from the battles. Hey, buddy. Don't fight me. I got your bigger brother. I got your big brother in my back pocket. You better stop. Nice. What's up, little boy? Oh, shit. Do these guys respawn? I feel like they respawn. I wanted to catch this big, this big bitch. I think they do respawn. The alphas can't respawn. So that's good. So if you accidentally kill them, 
they could come back. But I guess if you catch them, they, they don't come back. I like that. I actually like that a lot because I thought if you kill them, they never come back. But I guess if you if you catch them, they don't come back. But if you kill them, they they respawn. The Psyducks. Sai yai. I used to hate Psyduck so much in the anime when when Misty would be like trying to defeat Team Rocket and Psyduck will come out. I used to be like, bro. I'm like, Misty, why do you have this Pokemon still in your party? Get rid of this bitch. You said they respawn even if you catch it? So you can have a bunch of them, I guess, if you want. Yo, is there a way that you can get a shiny alpha? I don't know if it's possible. I'm just speaking in hypotheticals, but imagine a shiny alpha. Oh, it's a boy. Does this game have any PvP? I have no idea, honestly. Alphas are shiny locked. Alright, makes sense. I can imagine somebody like... Just camping in front of an alpha spawn and then just constantly rebooting the game to see if it's shiny. I thought he rolled his eyes back. I was going to say, yo, I don't like this mon. That Baneri is drowning. I just bit him in the water. Nah, I just put him out of his misery. That's what I did. That's what I did. I did it, and I liked it. I want to fight that gold bat again. I got to go back in that cave, actually, and see if I can find, um... Remember that cave? Maybe we could find a shiny Machamp. Or, I mean, not Machamp, Machop. Alright, we're here. Who the hell is this? Dirty Dan looking ass Leon. I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. The warden, bitch. You're so much of a pussy, you can't even go fight him and catch him. And you call yourself the Warden? And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to meet Cleaver, am I right? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I might turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. That's that then. Yup, I said it straight up. All right, bye. You said, why'd he pog? Because I told him, because he was basically telling me, he was like, yo, you can't come in here. And I said, I right, bet. I basically was just like, all right, I'm leaving then. And then he got surprised. He thought I was going to like get on my knees and beg. I'm like, bitch, I don't care. If you don't want me to see this Pokemon, I'll literally go around and catch anything else. <clears throat> I was like, bye, bitch.
Truly, you mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleaver so paltry? Bro, I don't care. But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Irita that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. All right, let's fight. You got a Gumi? He got a Gumi. I thought, he, I thought he said Gloom. Gumi. Okay, that's a problem. He's a dragon type. I'll take you on. And see if it can ooze some good sense over you. Hey, yo, isn't that the Pokemon everybody wants to fuck, though? It's only level 15. Ha! Oh, she's approaching me? Defensive stats was lowered. Bam. Critical hit. That's it? That's all you had to offer? Come on, man. You call yourself the leader of the woods? How can this be? Bro, I got literal bread on my feet. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offer. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods. Severed up the, to respect. What? Severed up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the, soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, could not get close enough to give any offerings. Not with the way Cleaver's rampaging. Ah, oh, there's nothing that an outsider like you can do. All right. The ancestors of Cleaver, um, Wide Rear, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike. So it said. It's by their grace that our clan, that any of us that still lives in vast Hisui today. What are you doing here? What you doing here with your JPEG? bracelets as you say cleaver's grown even stronger but i'm afraid that strength um, poses a problem for us if he was indeed struck by that lightning could the bolts have been sent by the false sino that the diamond clan bows to cleaver means so much to our clan i hope that we could bring the situation under control ourselves not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help but we must save cleaver from this frenzy every moment it continues the danger grows if more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You stranger from the beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather food and please Cleaver. Um, in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make a proper offering. Find a, okay, as for you, find a way to quell this frenzy. All right. Okay. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camp in an instant. I thought I already had that. Press the X button while consulting the map on your ARC phone to instantly travel to base camps and other locations. I was already doing that. I was doing that shit already. Good to see you. And how's your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. That's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite food will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. That's all I caught? Well, my mons are healed now.
the music, bro. There's a lot of good tunes in this game. So according to the information that you were able to learn from um, Rita, I'm just going to call her e Rita, because Irita sounds weird. Irita. I'm just going to say Rita. And Leon from the Pearl Clan, this is the normal course of events that Frenzied Cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of two favorite foods. I, I do wonder, is it possible that the aromas of other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Cleaver, but draw him back from this frenzy? Mm. So we cannot approach him in his current state. Um, it would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment, if you would. I need to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help me. Mm. What research notes are you looking at? Bro, you're not even reading a book you're looking at. You're looking at low-res JPEGs. Eureka. While well, simply having to throw the food, you've quite the arm for throwing things, aren't you? May I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? No shit! I was going to do that anyway. Yes, and it's all coming together. We can use our skills in Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved foods into balls and throw them to achieve the same calming effect. Oh, my God. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for uh, what to call these yummy projectiles. Tea time balls? What? Leventon balls? With that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at a frenzied friend. We'll rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, correct? Okay. Um, okay. Yo, can you scam me one more time? Yeah, I just want to, I just want to get scammed one last time. Scam me one last time. Nah, I'm out. You scammed me too much. We finna be broke. We're already broke. But it's worth it because if we get more inventory space, it, it comes in really helpful. Oh, it's nighttime in here. Oh, my God. I can't get over the sky, bro. I just want to lay down and look up. I just want to lay down and look at the sky. Who was that person that wanted a giant weasel? I can't get a good night's sleep like this. What's wrong, my love? What's wrong? Sanqua, bro, baby girl, if you need me to, if you need me to, mm, I'm, I'll make sure you go to sleep good tonight. Don't scare me like that. Something wrong, baby girl? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need, come back later, all right? Nah, 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 nah. Baby girl, tell me what's wrong right now. What's the matter? Are you all right? Maybe the Survey Corps type like you could figure out what's causing this. Yo, say less, bro. I'm right here. I'm right here. Say less. I'm right here. What you need, baby? Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels it feels like I'm not alone in there. Wait a minute. So you got so you got some crazy people? You got some ghosts in there? Yo, let, let, let's sleep together in there. Let's go fix this problem right now. Come on. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. Yo, take me into your house right now. Show me. I found burnt berries a couple times, and once in a while, I hear something clatter. So, Survey Corpse Kid, go survey my quarters. Figure out what's happening. All right. All right. Let me in your house right now. Just do it at night, would you? I got to be at work the next day. Yo, let me in your house. Ready to investigate my place? <laughs> oh, 
I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me. <laughs> Say less, baby girl. Say less. We about to look. Let's see. Yo, man, I hope she got some crazy shit out in her house, bro. Bro, yo, I hope she got, like, underwears and... Bitch, you living like this? The fuck? What the fuck is that? Monka S. There's a faint smell. Seems like berries have been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. Yo, bro, I don't want to play this game no more, man. This shit is too scary. This shit too scary, bruh. You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. You saw sparks fly for a moment. It seems like something ran by you. Chimchar? Near by the back of the closet. Huh? It's a Pichu! Hey! What you doing back there, little dude? Survey Corpse Kid, are you all right? I heard this strange noise. Hey, yo, Pichu's one of my favorite Gen 2 Pokemons. I know it's just a baby evolution of Pikachu, but I love Pichu so much. Wait a minute, this Pichu, could it be... It might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. Oh, it came back to see you. A berry for me? What, because I fixed you up? Chew. Wait, so the thing haunting my quarters was just a grateful little Pichu. I guess all that worrying was pointless to think I was afraid. It was some spine-chilling thing. Regardless, I owe you. Have a token of my gratitude. Nice. At least you get a free Pichu now. Pichu's such a cute Pokemon. You said I have PTSD of Pichu and Smash Ultimate before the nerfs? Hey, man. I remember. Yeah, Pichu was crazy. Guess all that worrying was pointless to think I was afraid. It was some spine-chilling thing. I mean, there was some evil aura which are... Which are which are, I don't know, which are mirror. When I tried to pull her mirror back, it made like this weird noise. I didn't like that shit at all. No Glock Glock 9000. Look at that full moon. God damn. She talking about Drifloon? Investigate Drifloon playing with children at Prelude Beach in the evening. Huh? Hold on. Let me give him this quest. Yes, I think this one is the bigger one. Where was the bigger one? Level 9, level 10, level 14. I think it was this one. Bruh? That one is still not big? I'm tripping. Hold on. I got to look at the summaries, man. He wants something that's 2.8. He wants a buizel that's 2.8? Jesus Christ. So I got to capture like a shit ton of buizels. All right, we got to go to the... We got to go to the... 
What was the beach called? He said Prelude Beach. I need to keep catching him. Of course, of course. All right, let's go. Mama, please tell me that you got some new clothes. Oh. You telling me I could look like Levi from Attack on Titan? You said Bidoof Mask. Let me actually upgrade my rank. Maybe if I upgrade my rank, it's gonna, um. You said this game could use more drip. Hey man, for what we got. Here you go. Now give me my rank up. This is what DLC is for. Yeah, I would not be surprised if this game got like a fat DLC later on. Naka use great balls. Pokemon up to level 40 will obey your orders reliably. The rewards you earn from your survey reports would be more generous now. Okay. Great bolas. And the great ball recipe. Nice. That's all I was trying to get. Giratina episode DLC. We might get some Giratina shit, to be honest. <sighs> Did, okay, is there new clothes? No. Terrible. No drip. Oh my god, the sun's about to, the moon's about to go down. I gotta hurry up. Wait a minute. That Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes. I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though. Let's head to what they end up calling it. The Heights Camp. All right. You said this game has a huge amount of potential for additional map. Yo, if they add additional maps, I think that'll be insane. Because I feel like there's so much content already. Additional maps to explore with. Additional Hisuian Pokemon to add. More drip. I want to be dripped out like this guy. This guy looks sexy as hell. I spoke to the white deer about what's been going on. I told him how you've been um, trekking all over the field and seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this... From someone who has not even been part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through the rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you accept it. Or appreciate it. I don't know what the fuck she said. I, I, I misread it. Why dear found you worthy, you see? Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, my Audio? Musical audio in Pokemon? This is very important, so listen well. Actual musical audio in Pokemon, not just text. That's the sound effect of when you start the Pokemon game. That's the sound of when you start Diamond, Diamond and Pearl or some shit, right? You said Azure Flute? That's the Azure Flute? Lore? <laughs> That's a Celest Celestica Flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that could be used to call on Wide Deer so you can ride upon him. It said that Celesta the Celestica Flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh himself. And now this one is yours. Damn, you guys blessed me with something like this. A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. You notice how 
you notice how this text specifically doesn't say the deer. It says a flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. So, oh shit, we, we about to start running into crazy stuff later on. It's not the grand gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. Um, see if you can play that melody. I could. <sighs> I tried. Cap! You didn't even try! He's cheating, bro. That's not fair. Why dear open his heart and learn well the sound that you're playing? A mind plate? Isn't that the shit that we give to Arceus so he could change forms? The plates. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon. <laughs> certain Pokemon. <laughs> certain po- <laughs> Certain Pokemon. Um, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of psychic types. Now use the Celeste. Celestica flew wisely and gallop across the land. Whoa, we could just gallop across. Bro, you got frenzied Pokemon to quell at the Grand Cherry Arena, haven't you? If you catch a Pokemon, name it after me. Okay. I'm going to name you after like a random Zubat. <laughs> you cannot call Wide Deer and Gallop. Bro, press the plus button to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Really? It's just that easy? Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places when you're riding about. All right, let's see. It's that it's that instantaneous. I thought I was going to have to wait for the horse to 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 pop up next to me like Ipana or like in Ghost of Tsushima whenever you called your horse. I used to love when Jin called the horse. Horse. Horse always comes from behind. Oh, no, I hit the wrong sound, bro. Oh, shit, the drift loons. Hold on. You said, how does it feel riding it? Hold on, I gotta actually ride it for a bit. What's well, another one? Has no effect. Oh, please tell me he misses. I'm realizing these Pokemon are so under leveled. They're level eight. Number defeated three. Okay. Birdie, leave me alone. Oh, we zoom in. Oh, they do respawn. So the alphas do respawn. Bro. Is that a Pichu? The piece who's sleeping. Hello? 
Why is it running like that? Wait, why did my Pokeballs miss? I'm so confused. Okay. Use the feather balls only on flying Pokemon. I know it was wasted bait, wasted Pokeball, wasted everything. Teabag. You could teabag in this game. Bro, what's up with you? Pokemon in the shaking trees. Whoa, who's after me? Who's trying to fight me? Who did that? Who did that? Who did that? It's the Pikachu. No, it, it didn't respawn because it was a Pichu. That's a whole Pikachu. We gotta we gotta get the mascot of the game. Ooh, nice. Like, he hit me really hard. And I was like, I was like, how did he hit me? Where, where did he come from? This says six times I've seen a use Thundershock. Bitch, when? Bro, he could jump over a lot of shit. Some stardust. So when those things are shiny, you could get stardust. You said, imagine if you could go to other regions in this game, man. I doubt. There's no way. Iron defense. Why is this guy level 16? He's kind of brolic, actually. Oh, yeah, that's true. Stardust Bay. I can't name you after a Pokemon because you're actually... You're actually named after an item in the game. Look. Hold on. Stardust. You're in the game. Look, you're actually in the game. I'm sorry, Stardust. You're in the game. <laughs> you said press Y to jump higher when... You could jump with him? No way. Wait, I I, I want to see the Abra. I want to see the Abra. There's two Abras.
Oh my god, your mom's a bitch. You suck, dude. You suck. Oh yeah, I gotta catch a cup a couple of weasels. Because Oh, the Starly respawn. Beautiful. Alright, caught another one. I just gotta keep catching them. And praying to God that they're big enough. He said, has the Hasuian Growlithe been claimed yet? If not, you can name one after me. All right, I got you, VG. I'll, I'll call you after the Hasuian shit. I like how when you capture the Pokemon, I love the little firecracker. The little... pop. Like, how do you even make... There's more Abras here. You say that's a Star Raptor? No, nah, that's a Star Avia. He dodged my shit. Yo, he caught me lacking. My man, my man said, wait a minute. You trying to catch me? You said, name me after the Abra. All right. I got to put him in the party first. That's the only bad thing. They all go away. So it's kind of hard to name everybody quick. Oh, let, let me capture these buizels over here. They're all level 12, though. All right, perfect. That's the perfect amount of damage. Okay. Weasel's looking around. Pa. You said, call me the Hazuian Zora. Bro, y'all all want to be named after, like, the super cool Pokemon. Motherfuckers is like, hey, hey, if you find the shiny Lugia, I call it. Shiny Lugia is mine. Hey, Dino, Dino with plus attack stats, that's me. That's me. Like, Hisuian Zora, man? I don't even... That, that looks like it's actually a big-ass Buizo. Alright, bitch. You wanna fight, bro? Let's go. Bro, I got, like, no more Pokeballs. Swift. You said I hated this Buizo mission so much. Bro, it keeps saying that, oh, it's already snowing outside. Oh, shit. Oh snap, it's already snowing. Oh 
Oh, damn. Ah, it's snowing. You said it's going to be 12 to 18 inches over here? Oh my god. Oh, you can pick up stuff from the ground when you're riding them? Perfect. Alright, just cricket tots, cricket tunes. Isn't this going back to the spawn? Yes. This guy could just infinitely run. Man, I really want to catch that Pichu. That bitch despawned on me. Hello? I don't want to fight you, dude. I just want to get past you. We could do this the easy way or we could do this the hard way. Beauty fly! Fuck, 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 it's about to turn nighttime. I gotta make this shit. Oh! Ultra balls. Make 12 ultras. And make 8 of these. Fight, buddy. Get him with some air slash. Oh, he avoided the attack. Excuse me. Oh, my God. He spat shit on me. Stun me, man. What's that? Is that a Silcoon? I call a Silcoon. Caught him in the daylight hours. Nice. Okay, there's a rumple down there. There's a dust ox. Who's here? Bro, you don't want to fight me. Leave me alone. I'm not starting no trouble. You say you got so many teddy bears on your bed? Oh my goodness. Bitch hit me. He hit me hard. 
How many times can you spawn and despawn him, like, frequently? Okay, I was making sure. Like, can you spam him, or is it just, like, there's a limit? Girl popped out at me. That's exactly okay. That's perfect. Um, hit him with a tackle. Oh, that's perfect. Hit him with the struggle bug. Bro, the great balls are like a million times better than the Pokeballs right now. This is where the go bat. Remember when I said I thought there was something here at nighttime? Let me check if something's actually here. I would not be surprised if there's like a Vespa Queen here. Oh, no, 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 no. Scythers. None of them. Scythers. Let's go. Where is the... The Crobat? There it is. To be honest, I want to go back in the cave. Where are the Machops? That's a happeny. Hold on. Rare. That's a rare Pokemon in my eyes. That's a happeny. You said it's gone. It's not gone, boy. It's still right there. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you looking dumb. You look dumb now. You look dumb. You look dumb. Look at that, look at that. Somebody in the chat. Oh, look, it's gone. Gone, bro. We got it. What you talking about? We got it. We got the Blissey. Look at the Machop. He vibing out. He just looking at me. Yo, you want to be homies? Yo, stop looking at me. You want to be homies? Okay, 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 okay. Never mind, bro. I was, I was playing. This is where the golem is at, right? Yo, the magic carp in the water, bro. Damn, these these other Pokemon is in here. Double quick attack? Damn. I'm getting jumped out here with double Pokemon. Double jump. Yeah. 
No way you just landed hypnosis. Man went for a double hypnosis. Man. Freaking jerks, man. Whoa, what the hell was that? What trick was that? I don't even know what the fuck I just did. Oh, I forgot about this bitch being there. Jesus Christ. You said he did a Super Mario 64 trick? That's exactly what it looked like, though. As a matter of fact, let me go heal up, and then let me go fight the Pokemon. You said, imagine getting pecked to death. Pecked straight in the urethra? Why? How would you get into a situation where you get pecked specifically there? Oh, okay, I could just... I could just fall. Not heavy fall, but... I hear you. I want no smoke. Bruh? Let me get up this hill. <laughs> Let me get up the hill. That's a cascoon. You said the PS5 doesn't doesn't have oh. Bitch D spawn when he went in the water. What happens if I go in the water? Do I just die or some shit? Forgetting I could jump. All right, let's go. So you say that the that you galaxy people came up with a method to try and quell Lord Clever's frenzy. Oh! What? You'll mash up Cleaver's favorite food into balls and throw it offerings at him? That's quite an orthodox approach, you galaxy people. Your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleaver from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means that we move. No, that we might provide Cleaver with his offering. Hold on, Leon. Don't get ahead of yourself. Where you even came from? Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleaver's favorite plump beans. I brought them, as promised. Plump beans? My apologies, Rita. I've forgotten all about you. I admit, I haven't been able to solve this our... No, we... As we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the Galaxy team. Just shut the fuck up and let me help. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. The, um, these Galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. Bro, at this point, I'll be like, yo, you know what, bitch? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. I'm gonna stay around here. And I'm going to keep on catching Psyduck. Let this motherfucker destroy your town. 
don't come to me. But you're an outsider, don't come to me. Obviously, you're a racist because you don't like outsiders. I said it. I said it, Rita. Rita, you racist bitch. Just because I'm an outsider, you got a problem with that shit? Just because I'm an outsider don't mean shit. Okay? God damn, I'm getting tired of Rita. Fuck. So prove to me that you're worthy and stand in the princess of a noble Pokemon. Bitch, I'm about to beat your ass and the Pokemon's ass. Let's go. <coughs> Glaceon? Wow, this is like the worst typing. Bitch took out a Glaceon. Hold on. Return to monkey. No, return to monkey. Man, she had a Glaceon. That's such a cool Pokemon. I love Glaceon. Ember. Strong style. Get him out of here. Oh, shit. And I burned them. Yo, get him out. You strong style the quick attack? You call yourself the leader of the Pearl Clan? Get a load of this leader. Leader of the Pearl Clan. Glaceon strong style quick attack. Get this bitch out of here. Get out of here. You you ain't no leader. You're, you're not a leader. Get, get the fuck out of here, bro. You're not a leader. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. Bitch, I've been saying that shit since the beginning. Plus, your clothes look like low-res polygons. Shut up. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think, let me see. Wait, I think. Let me see to your Pokemon's wounds. You better heal my Pokemon. Garbo. So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash um, Cleaver's favorite food altogether. Ball him up and try to quell his frenzy by throwing him at him. So interesting. Okay. Very well. If it helps you soothe Cleaver's frenzy, let's make the bombs with our very heart and souls. I want to catch this Pokemon. I don't want to kill it. I want to catch it. So um, is there a way that you could turn off autosave? Now then, ready yourselves, and I will summon our mighty cleaver, War Lord of the Woods. Aw, oh, shit. I don't think I could turn off autosave now. As I am. Oh, mighty cleaver, Lord of the Woods. Thou, it isn't yet the time of ceremony. We prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent Lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude and beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Retoro. Keep your focus on Cleaver. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Do I just throw them at him? Do I just throw food at him? Grasha! Oh, this bitch is fast as fuck! Hiao Shong Hui Ta Tang! To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell it in its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauges reach zero. Oh, if you manage to create an opening in the noble's defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon and battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, and the noble's guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. So throw as many as you can. So I'm just chucking shit at him the whole time.
This is so easy. This is so easy, bro. You can't be you can't be serious. Kobe. How did that hit me? That made no sense, but I'll just take the hit. That made no sense. The, the rocks apparently follows you. I dodged into it. Oh. Oh. Ah. Kobe. Kobe. He's about to hit me. Okay. Bink! <laughs> Wait. When do I battle him? Wait, when do I battle him? Wait, that's it? You were supposed to during the battle. Bro, are you kidding me, bro? I don't even have to throw Pokemon out, dude. You were supposed to throw the Pokeball at him during it. Wait, you were supposed to throw a Pokeball at him. Wait. Wait, I could have caught him? No, he left. You were supposed to throw the Pokemon at him when he was stunned. That's to get the health lower. So that means I basically did it like a speedrunner. Because I could have used my Pokemon. I didn't fumble anything. I didn't fumble anything. This is this is what's supposed to happen. When he was spinning and he hit the tree, you could th you could throw your Pokemon at him to make it faster. So no matter what, the outcome would have stayed the same in this situation. I couldn't even throw Pokeballs at him and catch him. So I don't understand why chat's spamming L when there's nothing that's L about anything that happened. I did it. I I actually won. Does that um does this confirm the strange lightning was to blame? Yes. I, I it was the lightning that made him crazy. You said chat didn't spam L, Nero didn't spam L. But where's Nero? Nero's a part of the chat. So you know what? As a matter of fact, let me kill Nero real quick. And let me strip him of his VIP. And I'm gonna give him a different role. P I V. Instead of very important person, it's person in Voltron. You are now part of the Voltron committee. The community that nobody loved. The Voltron show ended terribly. You are now part of the Voltron community. We now, uh, we know Strange Lightning came out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have struck Cleaver and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning, it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. Then, were we even right to try to inf interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs. 
as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods was long... No, has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the truly almighty Sinnoh have driven Cleaver in, um, to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Retro accomplished just now, it needed to be done. I'm glad that we could settle this without further um, strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for becoming briefly incomposed. I'm grateful for what you have done for my lord. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier. Thank you, Rita. That's what I want to hear. And a token of my thanks. Because you were very rude earlier. Three. That's it? I did all that work for three citrus berries that you probably picked right behind you in the tree? Let me care for your Pokemon as well. In appreciation for fighting on our behalf. No money. She gave me three berries. Three berries that I could have gotten from any tree that's around here, man. Craziness. I think I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here. Though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleaver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Damn. So. Also, this is where everything happened in here. Yo, but the cleaver, that guy was moving fast. That man ran through like Sonic. Yo, she really just picked some berries behind her and she was like, yo, I'm going to give it to this guy and say I'm sorry. She freaking played me, man. Oh, shit. Nero coming up with the IPs? I'm scared. Chill, Nero. Chill. You said, did you catch Cleaver or defeat it? Wait, you could catch him? You can't catch him. They didn't allow you to catch him. You can't catch him because no matter what throughout that whole scene, all you could use was the bag. You could not catch him. Maybe in the future you could catch him. I don't know. Whoa, why is it misty here? Very misty. That's a boy. Get him away from me. I need more apricorns. I see apricot from Balloon Boy now. Would be a good time to end stream just putting that out. Now would be a good time to end stream. Now? What time is it? 1036? I'll probably play for like 30 more minutes before I end, honestly. I'll play for like 30 more minutes. Short stream. Shake my head. Yo, it's me. I can't see. What the hell is that? Yo, that's a Lopunny! Oh my god, I can't see! Hey, what up, little dude? 
Is he running away? No. It missed. Stun Spore. I don't want to use ta um, Ember, so I'm going to tackle it. It's going to kill him. That's perfect. You said I know your whole address. Las Vegas Boulevard. Fuck! Come on, man. Delete that. Delete all that shit. Nice, Cheruby, we got him. All right, so now we got Lapani, but I don't know why when I go here, it's extremely misty. I cannot see anything. Sorry, Mama. I'm trying to catch you. I'm trying to do some things to you, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to be disrespectful. I missed. I missed. Level 40. Oh my, yo, L Luxio, 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 we gotta go, Luxio, we, Luxio, we gotta go, Luxio, we got, we got to go, Luxio. She looking at me right now. She's like, yo, why are you leaving? Nah, bro. I want that ass, but I don't want to die. Why is it so foggy here? I can't see. Giving it food three times. Man, she looks so good. Give me that La Buzzy. I want that La Buzzy. That's what I want. What did she just use? What did she just use? Superpower? I don't even know what the fuck she used. Burn it. Wait, she a dude? It's even better. Bro, you're gonna kill yourself. Did she just double double edge? She just double double edge. You're about to get burned to death. Oh man. Oh man, this is not good. I I, I could try to catch it. Man, I wish I had a fucking ultra ball right now. Yeah, we're definitely naming it Lion Ken. Wait, but it's a dude! <laughs> it's a dude, Lopany, though! <laughs> bro, hey, you know what? Lion Ken wants to be named after it. It's whatever, bro. 
I'm gonna name it after the Lion Ken then. Name it after me. All right, all right, Lion Ken. I'm gonna name it after you. Damn, somebody in the chat said Lapony is still a Lapony. Eyes rolled back and all. Lapony is still a Lapony. Man or woman, Lapony's a. I know Lapony when it's shiny, it's pink. I can't believe we just caught that shit. That shit was level 40. Oh, come on, dude. Uh, Aerial Ace. Get him out. Number defeated. Three out of four. Let's get this last one over here. Oh, that one is a girl. Oh, that one is level 15. I think we already caught a girl, though. Oh, it ran away. All right, little bitch. is hands down the best Pokemon game I've played. Mm -hmm. I've never had so much fun just finding and catching Pokemon before. Hats off to the developers, they did a great job. No, I, I agree. Note, this game randomized is gonna go crazy. Randomized? You mean like Pokemon just spawning everywhere? Oh yeah, definitely. A randomized playthrough of this game will be nuts. That's a boy. Kill him instantly. We gotta get rid of him. I wanna I wanna try to get this one, but whoa, is it raining? What you want, man? I want no smoke. Bro, I want no smoke. Oh, he wants smoke! I'm out. I didn't do anything to you, bro. I thought we were homies. He about to use rollout on me again. You bitch. Guy's a bitch, man. He hit me. Make some heavy balls, too. I feel like I'm going to have to make a couple of these. How many Pokeballs do I have? Now I have 13. Make some heavy balls, too. Take me home. Take me home. Okay. It's raining now, so that's a different weather condition that I haven't seen yet in the game. There might be different Pokemon spawning now stardust what's that is that a psyduck i thought that was an onyx over there i gotta hurry up because this freaking psyduck is gonna be annoying Name me after the Psyduck. That's if I even put you in the party. I want to get the berries and stuff. What level is the Bibberol?
Oh, it's only level 16. Oh, this shit is dirt weak. Water pulse. This shit's gonna kill me, though. Not very effective. Effective. Oh my god, man. My sister copped the game and she hasn't even started playing it yet because one of her friends is over the house. I'm like, I'm about to fight you. Alright, we got you where you want it. See to hold on. This shit should be able to do it. Yeah, we got it. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Number of alpha. Yo, look at how that moon just came up like that. I didn't like that. I'm spooked. Some Zubats. Some more Zoo. As a matter of fact, hold on. Now, nah, don't fight me, bro. Pikachu? Paris? Whoa, there's a go bat up here. Oh my god, this Zubat, this Zubat is going to be a little bitch, isn't he? Bitch, you're gonna, you're gonna chase me? You're gonna chase me, bro? You're gonna chase me because you wanna look cool in front of your friends? You're only level 10, dude. Now you're done. There's another one? You wanna die too? How did you see me? I'm right here. Hey, yo, chill. Hey, yo, watch your jet. Oh, my God. There's so many Zubats. Okay. Bro, these Pokemon just... Oh my god, double battle? They just want to jump me. You missed that hypnosis, you goofy-ass B. sees me right now who's trying to hit me I'm trying to catch this goal bat but the game is not allowing me oh my god now now it's about to go to daytime You're, you're done. You're caught. You're caught. I know I caught you. 
I know I got your big ass. Stop playing with me. You said it's full of mods in the chat? I love it. old pictures these Zubats are so hostile now I know why whenever you go into a cave you always run into a Zubat a what what is he doing just walking around? You say you had a shiny run, you had a shiny run away from you, you got the clip? Post those clips on, on Twitter so you can get free likes and impressions. Oh my god, there's so many Zubat. Oh, there was an Abra. I heard a ghastly. Where the ghastly at? I heard him. A Munchlax! <laughs> this bitch is chasing me. I'm trying to catch this thing so bad. This bitch was chasing me. Okay. Um. I have no space in my satchel. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Why I got no space? I should have space in my satchel. What do you mean? I need to collect all the iron chunks that I can.
You said the lion can't have post nut clarity. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what y'all talking about in chat. You guys be bugging out. I'll look away from the chat for a. M the Pokemon actually look wet in the rain. That attention to detail. Look, it looks wet. It, is that it? Is that the wet? Not a wet Lopunny, man. It's a wet Pokemon. You said Retro's reading abilities. Yes. That's all I'm going to say is yes. Yo, whatever happened to that Snorlax? Hold up. Whatever happened to that Snorlax? Hold up. I'm not going to finish this stream till I get that Snorlax. Let me up. Miss, who are you? That marvelous rich tone. How does it produce? I must know. Oh, er, hello. Didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps. Wonderful. Just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricket Top. You must be curious about them as well. I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. What? It be in your depth if you could complete the Cricket Top page in your Pokedex and show it to me or so uncover the truth? She fiending for that Cricket Top. La, 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 la. Whoop. Oh, so Cricket Top produced that um, curious sound of theirs by hitting their antennas together. What? Now she want to put up an instrument like that? Vivi chokes? Come on, dude. Y'all giving me garbage ass items for doing your quest. Vivi chokes. Take me home. Oh, that's a nice springy mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad that you chose that I chose you for the quest. Oh, that was the guy for the mushroom. I forgot about him. Okay, that was a nice sound effect. The delectable mushroom cake. Just throw one at a wild Pokemon, and if it's um and if it's partial to a nice mushroom cake, you can bet your bottom tosu it'll go after the cake lore. Ah, cake lore. So we just making cake balls of cake. Okay. So now we just throwing mushroom cakes at people. Okay. Five balls of mushroom cake in my satchel. Okay, can I make them? Yeah. Well, let's make five more. Wait, where is it? Where is it in my inventory? Is it in my freaking item storage? Um, there's no space in the satchel. Bro, what do I put away? Move to the item storage. This too. Put this here. No, put all five. Yes. Okay, I got it now. Now let's go look for that Snorlax. Yes! 
Yo, you saw how much air? This Pokemon could just take off like an airplane. Woo! Woo! Where the Snorlax? Oh. Oh, that's a very angry Luxio. If I remember correctly... Um, the Pokemon should be... This is an area I don't think I've touched. I see Beautiflies. What is that marsh? What is this? What are these spider lilies? Bitch. Alright, you want to fight, you dirty bitch? Hold on, man. Hold on. You're about to lose now. I'm burning you all up. You shouldn't have done that. I mean, y'all can use all the iron defense y'all want. Still getting cooked. And you missed your stun spore, bruh. Eh. Let me catch you just so I can put you out of your misery. Cause she wildin'. She wildin'. I feel like something's supposed to spawn here. This is such a weird spot. That's such a weird spot. Oh, I don't like that. That Luxio is just over there. That's a big ass Luxio. Run, boy. All right. Where's the Snorlax? As a matter of fact, I got to make Pokeballs. And I actually want to see if I could catch him. If I could catch this Pokemon lacking. Oh, I got no Ultra Balls. That's actually bad. The Snorlax was here. Oh, man. He vibing out. That is the tiniest Graveler I have ever seen. And he's level 26. Wait, his level's actually high. Oh, no. Nah, that Snorlax might be way too high. Actually, that Snorlax might be, might be high as hell if this guy's level 26. That Snorlax might be some absurd level. No way. No way. Bro, kill him. You did this to yourself. You did this to yourself, man. Oh my god, that bitch is big. I gotta go past them. Then I gotta give him some food. Okay. 
Oh my god, I don't even have materials. I'm gonna have to pray to God I paralyze him. If I even attempt to do anything. That bitch broke out so fast. The ball didn't even shake. The ball didn't even shake, bro. He broke out of that bitch so fast. He was like, wait a goddamn minute. You see, you hear the noise that, that he makes when he runs. It's like boing, boing. Huh. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Nah, he must be extremely highly leveled. The ball doesn't even shake once. The ball doesn't even shake once, dude. You said there's an X above him. So is that what the X means? That you can't catch him? I thought the X means usually like it's like... So wait, do I got a battle? I don't even want to engage battle. Fuck it. He's too... He's probably too broken. <gasps> a Lux Ray. How did you see me? Oh, chill. He's chasing me. That bitch chased me. All right, go away. So I can't catch the Snorlax. Snorlax is too highly leveled. Finally, that looks right. Turn around. Now, nah, hold up. What is this Pokemon's level? Because now he's pissing me off. What's your level, bitch? 17. So why are you acting so tough? If you're level 17. Bro, why is he looking at me? I'm making no noise at all. Does he like mushroom cakes? Let's try the mushroom cakes. He does like mushroom cakes. Why didn't the shit work? Bro, it was it was perfect. He should have got caught. Oh my god, there's so many stupid star avias here. It's pissing me off. One versus three? Ain't boy, no way. Bro, there's no way. There's no way I'm getting ganged up like this. Let me attack! 
Let me attack. Stop hitting my Pokemon. Motherfuckers, I swear to God, bro. I swear, I swear, bro. I swear, I swear, bro. Yo, if I had my stun fist from black and white, y'all would be crying right now, bro. If I had my stun fist from black and white, if I had Uni Leaf right now, y'all be y'all be in, trembling in y'all boots. You said Nuzlocke tomorrow? I don't know if I'm a Nuzlocke tomorrow. Cause I mean this the new this the new hype Pokemon game that's out. This is the new bee's knees. Bro, this is not fucking fair. Can I please attack? Let's go, Sita. Man, fuck all these star... Fuck these stupid-ass Staravias, man. Annoying. Nah, bro, I want to still catch that Luxray. He's still looking my direction, yo. He's still pissing me off. Can I please craft a revive? Let me craft some Ultra Balls, actually. I could only craft one. That's unfortunate. You see, you could teleport to your town. Nah, I want to get this. Mm. What is that? A Kadabra? Yo, floating around. Oh, shit. Motherfuckers floating. Godobra! I got him! Oh, I'm sorry, please! Please! You said, I wish there were, like, level 80 Pokemon walking around in the map. Nah, like, Z you're talking about Xenoblade 2 when that big monkey... <gasps> Drifloons! <coughs> Drift limbs! Oh my, oh, am I about to drown? I just drowned. I just fucking drowned. Ain't no fucking way. Bro, oh, nah, teleport away now. You can't move to another location when you're being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Whole ass, no. 
Run! Run, boy! Run! Yo, stop it! How many more Pokemon keep popping up? I just want to leave, bro. Oh, God. I'm about to run into some bullshit. How many Drifflim is popping up? These ugly-ass shellos. I'm going to sleep. Everything. Yo. Nah. Nunca mas. Never again. Wasn't there a mission that I had to do that had to do with Drifloom? And he got me asleep. Nice. Make the stream ten hours. What does this guy got to say? <clears throat> I hear you have the rare ability to dash over the hills. A balloon race. There's no way. As many balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. 17 balloons. Balloon race? Bro, they actually gave us mini games. I've never would have expected this from Pokemon. This I would expect out of Zelda. But Pokemon? And there's still Pokemon in the wild trying to fight me. Welcome back. You bursted 29 balloons. 10 Pokeballs? Nah, run that shit back. Nah, run that shit back. Wow, that balloon, literally, I was under him. The 15 Feather Balls were sent to your storage. Nah, I gotta hit them all. We gotta do it again. We gotta hit them all. Hit them all. Hit them all. They literally did me dirty. I had it, too. I literally had it. Yes, sir. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The last one, man, the way that last balloon moved, I was like, damn. P Perfection. You popped every single balloon. You definitely a balloon bursting balls. That's for sure. Shit. Shit. 
A nugget? Okay, that was worth it. That's a lot of money. And a rare candy. The nugget was sent to your storage. Nice. A nuggy. Is there another balloon challenge? I've still got plenty of prizes if you have another go. How about a kid want to play? There's another there's another prize. There's more prizes? No, there isn't. I, I, I'm not even going to hold you. I hope there's more things in this game. I doubt he's going to give me more prizes. There's no way he's going to give me more prizes. I doubt. He's just going to be like, good job. Oh, five combs of dazzling honey. Okay, that's it. Need to switch up your Pokemon or buy items. Uh... Please tell me that one of those Buizels are big. The Buizel. Wait, the biggest size of Buizel that I found is 2-6. Two, two, I still need to keep catching this Pokemon to find one that's 2-8. That's annoying. Oh my god, bro. I gotta find I gotta find more Buizels. Hey. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled a Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, those are the two fabled plates of old. Please, let me have a look. I see. There are some letters carved into them. Let me see. This one says, where all creation was born. That is the being's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see. You were given the plates when you impressed a uh, wire. How you say that name? Were deer, weird deer, and cleaver. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find more plates like this scattered across Isui. If uh, we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something. Scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely brilliant or amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Damn. Were deer? That's the name? So he's not a deer. He was a deer. Were deer. You have some new clothes in stock? What you got? Trash. You say you got new clothes in stock. Where's it at? <gasps> the twisted headbands. I want the red one. Not change my not change my drip. Whoa. What's with the ribbon on my back though? What is this? A little bow? I feel like this is for the girl avatar. What's with that bow? 
I feel like this is for the dudes. These. It's cute. Bruh. Bruh. Fancy kimono. I'm aware of the most basic shit. Everyday trousers. Fancy bottoms. Yo, the gradient though. Oh. Underwear? Bro, I could wear Hanes in Pokemon? Okay. Oh, this is the wire, the word deer. Fancy bottoms. Oh, there's cleaver. There's a cleaver fit. Where's the where's the cleaver shit? Oh, the fancy cleaver kimono. Why gotta be a kimono? I've turned into a convertible. Hunter, Hunter. Hunter, Hunter. Nope. No Hunter, Hunter. I just, bro, we're like nine hours in. Cause it's Japan. Bro, I'm really about to go out here with my booty shorts on oh, God. I'm about to just rock some booty shorts. Y'all, I'm about to be out here rocking booty shorts. Hold on. They want to do me so dirty. They don't want to give me, like, cool clothing. Let my Connie drip fly with the red. Let me put on some new shoes. These are the expensive ones. Why? Because there's a little diamond on it at the bottom. Ew. Nah, take them shits off. Just give me some black ones. Give me some black ones right there. The dark slates. Or some white ones. Nah, bro. Just give me the just give me the black ones, bro. You said, bro, what is your fit? Bro. I'm just in basic because they got no good clothes for the dudes. They got no good clothes for the guys. <gasps> yes! Yes, the little glasses, the the Leorio glasses! They got the Leorio drip. Yes, sir. Oh, my God, bro. I love it when anime dudes got these little fucking glasses. That's my shit. Wait, that shit says pine. I've turn into a convertible. Pokemon Arceus Legends. Yes. Pokemon Arceus Legends. That's... That's that's what we're playing right now. Thank you so much for the two dollars, man. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't know if I should get white glasses or if I should get black glasses. White glasses or black glasses? White or black? I think the white looks better. You said white to fit the aesthetic. That's what I'm saying. White for the aesthetic. Fuck it. When we get better clothes, then we will go nuts.
Caillou with the glasses. At least I'm gonna be in the cutscenes. Play this clip since you killed the Dono. I killed the Dono. How I killed the Dono? What clip? I can't because the video is gonna get copyrighted. If I had that Dono, it's it's gonna get copyrighted every time. Dank Zero. Zonky Zero. Zonky Zero, I might stream it just for you. Teach me how much money. Say I'm so mad, you know why? Because I gotta catch I gotta catch a bunch of these dumb ass um what the fuck's their names, dude? These dumb ass Pokemon. I gotta catch so many of them. Let me catch him until I finish the quest. If I finish the quest, then I'll finally be like, I'm done. Dank bowls, Zonky bowls, Jiraiya bowls, Yu Yu Hakusho bowls, Zonky Zero bowls, Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter. Who the fuck is this? That's a big one. Right there. That's the one I need. Get rid of this one. All right, that's fine. Level 26, fine. I got a Luxio with your name on it. Ice Beam? That bitch got ice beam? Oh my goodness. Nah, hold up. That bitch got ice beam. He got like end game moves. Bro, you're telling me I got no great balls? Yes, I do. That has to. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. Who is this? Oh my god, they're still trying to fight me. I'm out. You said check the summary? Nah, I don't even have to check the summary. I know that's... I know... I got the big one. Like, if I go down and check them... Wait a minute. How do you check? 
How do you check? You have to report it. Okay, let's report it. Yes. I caught this big bitch right here. I caught Satan reincarnate himself. Okay, is it bigger? Let me see it. You said, did you eat today? I ate a bit earlier. I'm gonna... I, after the stream, I'm gonna cook myself something. Oh, it's still snowing outside. Fuck. How long is it gonna snow for, dude? I think we're actually in for some bullshit. I was praying to God that it wasn't gonna snow that bad. And it's actually gonna snow really bad. Oh, man. It's gonna snow all the way... All the way till tomorrow, like 3 p.m. Oh, shit. Tomorrow, honestly speaking, chat, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. I might wake up tomorrow and then just go straight back into streaming this shit for a long time because I, I'm gonna be caved in. It's gonna be so much snow tomorrow. Um, Let me see. Let me see my Pokemon. Because I got nothing to do. I can't even go to the gym tomorrow. Like, I I'm not even going to bother going to the gym because it's just so far. This guy's height is 4'2". Oh, nah. This motherfucker said, yo, bring something that's 2'8". Bro, I got you one better. I got you one better. 4'2". 4'2". You said ring fit than this? Bro. This the this the hottest game out right now. You think I'm gonna go play Ring Fit? You think I'm gonna play Ring Fit? You think I wanna see Victory? To be honest, tomorrow I'm gonna be working out anyway, because I gotta scoop up the snow before I even stream. I'm scooping up the snow tomorrow, so that's going to be my workout. Have you brought me a bigger buizel? Shit. I'm about to show you something big right now. Take a gander. Take a gander. Well, I'll be. I didn't think they could get this much bigger. Look at them side by side. They almost look like a parent and his child. I wonder if there's room for me in that little family. This motherfucker trying to fuck a weasel? He want to be a part of the family? <laughs> that motherfucker nasty. He want to be a part of the family, you bum. You said this is a kid's game. Look how the tip of his little, this little one's snout points up when it looks at us. What a precious little thing. And the big one's uh, flotation sack. There's something uh, reassuring about how large it is, don't you think? I don't know, man. I think it's just you. Funny how Pokemon of the same species can seem so different depending on which one is bigger. Keeping an eye on Pokemon sizes when you're catching them might spice up your excursions. I'll be rooting for you. Nice. Orin Berry and EXP Candy S. Hmm? Small experience? So now I'm just going to leave him here? That bitch is loud. It's echoing. Bye, dude. What's up, baby? Oh, you could just go into people's houses? What y'all doing in here? You're a newcomer, right? If you go out and get close to Pokemon, you better do it stealthily. Who are you talking to? Everybody's house looked the same. This is the same exact house as the other lady. Let me actually go visit her, man. 
I gotta see how she doing. I remember her house was right here. Give me a second, bro. Let me check my breath. Hey yo, ma. Wait a minute. You're not. You're not who I was looking for. Nah, hold up. Hold up. Oh, this her crib. I forgot which was her crib. You said she's not into you, bro. Yo, look at my drip. Look at look at my look at my mini kimono. Look at my headband, my Connie haircut, my red contacts, my white glasses. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. I'm too cool. I literally fell from the sky. They say that hunger is the best seasoning. But I'd rather rely on the quality of the soot food roots to make my potato mochi tasty. What time is it? 8.55. Well, this might be a good time to stop the stream. <gasps> photos? Here's the photography studio. You can enjoy taking photos together with your Pokemon. Even consider preserve a long memory with your Pokemon as a photograph. Come in and give it a try. Oh, that's how we're going to end off the stream. We got to take a photo. We got to take a photo with the Pokemon that we have right now. Wow, they have a whole photo studio. Grandpa? I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not get your photo taken? Change my pose. Arms folded. Bro, you're not even looking at the camera. Oh. Okay, I gotta look straight ahead. Change your expression. Nah, where's the one with that mouth open? Keep that... <laughs> Keep that mouth open. Hold up. Thinking. Serious. Next. Nah, son. You gotta keep that mouth open. Now back. Um, change my pose. Arms folded with my mouth open. Hands behind my. <laughs> yo, one arm out. Hey, yo. Arms open high. Yo, arms open low. Yo, thumbs up. At the ready. Brace for battle. Over the shoulder. <laughs> now hold up. We're braced for battle with our mouth open. Back. Start shooting. All right. Press the capture button to take a photo. Where my Pokemon? Wait. Where's the Pokemon? Wait, where's the Pokemon? Talk to the guy. Prepare Pokemon. With the big Lopunny chat? Oh, y'all horny in this chat. Hold up. God, yeah! That bitch is big! Change the lens. Nostalgia filter. Change the screen. Purple screen. That purple is like Twitch purple. Yeah! Damn! Change your expression. 
ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. Wait, I gotta have my mouth. I gotta have my mouth open. Change expression. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you. The coochie. Is there is there a better way I could take a picture of this? Like like can I zoom in? Damn it, man. I wish I could have like There's no way I could like zoom in and shit. Yo, Lopini caked up. Bro, it's 11:48, man. It's almost demon time. Yeah, you said Booty Vor. You know what, Tula? I don't know why the fuck you got that VIP badge on me because this man said Booty Vor. I can't believe him. Imagine getting Booty Vored. Your butt just, your butt just eating people. Jeez, I thought I was gonna be like take a picture with your whole party. You said need to buy items. You could actually buy items. You sell Pokeballs? And you sell potions? You can make the Pokemon do a pose? Really? Can you sell Pokemon? Hey, man, we ain't trying to do all that. We ain't trying to do all that. Why is there so many Drifloon? No, you cannot sell Pokemon. If you do, the game actually bans you. Hello? Satanic Cricketune? Two, two, three, count with the smoke. Okay. 24. Thunderfang, bite his ass. Oh, dude, you're so weak. Yo. In Pokemon lore, people used to marry their Pokemon. So if you in the past and there's a human like head group, hey. I'ma just ignore that donation. Thank you for it though. But I'm gonna ignore it. I don't wanna hear it. Shit, the big ass floats up. end your whole career right now battle of the titans bitch what cricket how Houseway. Ow. Oh. 
burn him at least. That didn't do anything, but it burned him. That's what I wanted. And now my monkey will die. He said I'm still streaming? Yes. But not for long, though. I'm going to be ending soon. I'm just trying to get damage so I can freaking catch him. Then the burn is going to like take effect. Bro, he's one-shotting everyone. What in the name of sweet baby Jesus is this Pokemon on? Bro, can you at least give me a chance to... Like, this bitch is getting... Abandon its hard-hitting stance, please. Can I use the heavy ball? No, he did the hard-hitting stance again. No, I'm gonna have to run. Cedar, Cedar, wouldn't wanna be ya. Yo, this shit gotta get caught. Pokeballs in this gen are just terrible. No, no way. No way. I'm sorry, Cedar. If I hide in this corner, nobody will hurt. Are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me right now, dude? Do not. Get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Get out of here with that shit! Oh! His son came at me. Yo! Yo, he really cornered me. Bro, he really just... He cornered me, dude. I felt like Spider-Man in an alleyway about to get jumped by the Joker. Wrong characters, I know. But that's how I felt. Alright, chat. So, with that... I'm about to save. I'm about to sleep... Joker from Persona? No, Joker from Batman. Oh my god. Wait, why whenever I save the game... My face looks like that. My face doesn't look like like my current outfit. How do I change my face? Does somebody know how to change your face? You say I'm not sure? Do I maybe go to the photographer? Let's go to the photographer and see. You said, pretty sure you could change it, but I don't know. That's what I'm about to check. I'm about to go back to town. Um, What is this? Lost and found? You received a thank you gift. Wow. 67 merit. Full heal. I don't even know what the fuck this is. 
Other lost satchels. Your lost satchels. Okay. Internet. Wait, connect. Wait, connect to the internet. What does this do if you connect to the internet? If you turn on online communication, you could retrieve people's lost satchels around the world map and get rewards for it. Oh, that's nice. You said retro. I looked it up and apparently you can't. You cannot change your face like your picture on your save. That's a weird detail that, that you can't do. I mean, it is what it is. It's probably because it's like the photo of when you first arrived to the town, you know? But the, but the reason why I don't like it is because then everybody's save shit is going to look the same, you know? But, yes. As a matter of fact, let me see the satchel points. Change it in an update, maybe. They're going to allow you in the update, maybe. I want to get items. Ah, you see the merit points that I have? Ah, uh, this is where you get the stones. So the Eevee that I caught, I could turn it into a Vaporeon, a Jolteon, Leafeon, Glaceon, Moonstone. If I want to evolve fucking Clefairies and shit. Or what, what was what else is a Moonstone? Nido King, Sunstone, Shiny Stones, Dawn Stones. Mm. Vaporeon, huh? Nah, shut up, chat. Don't say shit about Vaporeon, please. Um, Razor Fang. Reaper's Cloth. A cloth imbued with horrifyingly strong spiritual energy. It's loved by a certain Pokemon. What Pokemon loves the Reaper Cloth? Metal Coat. I know that's to, like, evolve specific Pokemon, like Scyther into Scizor. Um, Onyx into Steelix. Protector. Dustclops? That's for Dustclops, so what, to turn into Dust Noyer? Dubious Disc. And the Linking Cord. Ah. Wow, so to get these specifically, you have to constantly do missions, missions from the Merchant. Alright, good grind in today. I'm saving one last time. And with that, we should be ending the stream. I don't know who is streaming right now. You said, why couldn't the link cord be in the previous games? If you can't actually make I've returned and after nine hours of game would like to ask you what you think of the game. What I think of the game? I love it. I'm going to play the shit out of it tomorrow. Definitely. Tomorrow, I'm going to play it so much. It's it's very fun. Um, The unique... The unique take of, like, catching Pokemon. Seeing them walk around in the overworld. Um, How dangerous they are now. Like, they're... Like, I feel like in the other Pokemon games, they didn't give you that sense of, like, Pokemon are dangerous. But this game... This game... Yeah. This game makes it very realistic like yes pokemon are just not these nice beautiful creatures that you see in the pokemon games and you could just pet and shit no like they could fuck you up and especially the alphas the alphas with the red eyes they're very intimidating oh shit i forgot about the rapidash the rapidash that i saw fuck i got i, I got no items um but it, it's very good though But I feel like everybody and their grandma right now is is playing this shit though. Um Yo, if I beat this game quick, if I beat this game quick, I don't know why the next game that I want to play, if nothing else is taking up my time like that, is uh Shin Megami Tensei. I really wanted to play Shin Megami Tensei 5. Like, I really wanted to play that on stream. You said, uh, Breath of the Pokemon? Shin Megami Tensei, I wanted to touch that shit so bad. Um.
So with that chat, um, oh damn, Omni's been playing for a hot minute. Oh, he's going after the Rapidash. I was trying to go after that same Rapidash. All right. So I'm going to send you guys over the Omni, all right? Show my man Omni some love. You guys already know about him. He's streaming right now. Thank you guys again for coming out. He's been streaming for like 12 hours. I did nine hours. He did 12 hours. He, he was not joking. That man's been grinding. I don't know how much longer. Wait, is he done? Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Capture. GG's. GG's indeed. Let's go. All right. So, Let's chat. Go. Let's go heal a lot. So, chat, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. The to the people who subbed. Gave Donos was just chilling with me overall in this stream. Thank you guys for chilling with me. I know a lot of people probably weren't in here because everybody wants to be spoiler freed when it comes to this game because everyone wants to have like a first time experience in playing this. Uh, the game is great. I can do anything. <laughs> Good night. Don't get your ass ate while you sleep tight. Imagine getting my ass ate while I sleep. I'll wake up screaming. Anyway, thank you guys again for coming through. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Donos, gifters, subbers, lurkers. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Trollers. Fuck y'all, but I still love y'all. I'll see you guys later, right? Have a good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And till next time, tomorrow, we're going to continue playing. That's, that's if, um... Depending on how crazy the snow is. But anyway, I'll see you guys, right? Peace.